the latest edition of the Lure Book is now available. This highly regarded gemstone encyclopedia features over 1,300 pages full of facts and knowledge. Discover the places, the people and the stories behind every gemstone. To get your hands on a copy, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Hello, hello, and welcome to Designer Inspiration. I'm Jenny Cleary. There are two new things about today. Me and Fleur have got new fringes. I'm with a gorgeous Fleur. We decided to go for it, Fleur. We did. Took the plunge. We held hands like Thelma and Louise <laughs> and well, drove over the cliff, the cliff <laughs> of the uh, side parting. And here we are with our fringes. How yep. do you feel about having a fringe? It's cheaper than having my wrinkles injected. With oh, I'm going to do that as well. Oh, are you? Oh, yeah. no, that's why I've got mine. No, I'm going for both. You're having both? Yeah, I'm going to look about 17 yep. by November. I'll see how it looks again, then I might go for it myself. All right, you can come for with For my 40th, me. Come I'll love. <laughs> Now, how are you? Are you all right? I hope you are. Uh, we got loads of amazing things to give to you today. Do you remember last week when I launched with Debbie Bolford the square wired round jump rings? Does that make any sense to you? I hope it does. Uh, then, because Phil rang me when we got square jump rings, and I was thinking we meant actually square. Uh, but actually, it's the square wired ring jump rings. You know, we did them with Debbie. They sold out. We had 150, I think, of them. Sold out straight away. So I requested more for you, and that's what we've got. We're very lucky to have another stock in kits. Only You can only get them in the kits. Now, today's text message subject... Hang on, I've got to work this fringe out. You know, I've been having issues with the big forehead. This seemed the only way. Now, it did. You know all those things I was trying? I was like the Hamlet man for ages, and I thought, Jenny, just cut the thing. So that's what happened. That'll, it, because I look less boiled eggy, I think. I don't know. My hair looks longer even though I've had it cut. It's because my face looks shorter, and it was like a horse's face before. Um, now, still like that, but you just can't see any of it. Now, our text message subject of the day, I need you to know that Phil, in his pub that he goes to, he doesn't own the pub, but he goes there and they don't do food. So on one day of the week, the pubs say you can bring your own food. So Phil and his friend have a little competition as to who can bring um, a, a, a modern, a classic meal with a modern twist is what you do, right, Phil? So this is Phil's idea. Now he wanted, uh, he wanted the classic roast dinner. We do, we go to pubs, mm -hmm. we want the classic roast dinner a lot, don't we? This is what Phil did. He took a classic roast dinner. He placed it on one of those tortilla wraps the entire, we're not sure if we agree with it or not, but I think it's a little bit genius. He placed roast potato, gravy, Yorkshire pudding, ham, hock, he'd baked a ham hock, and what, did you have any vegetable in there? You didn't put a pea in there. Right, then he wrapped it up, cut it in half, went to the pub with his roast dinner wrap. 
We would like to know. Don't you think that's cheap? Do you think it works? They're debating whether it works for them. Is it working for you? It's working for me. It's working Easy. for me. As long as the gravy is there, it's working yeah. for me. Like you dip it in the gravy. Yes, yeah. perfect. Yeah. I'm not sure about the Yorkshire pudding needing to be in the wrap. No, that has to be separate. The Yorkshire yeah, pudding have it to be separate. It could have replaced Yorkshire pudding with peas for me, or bro broccoli, or broccoli. something. Yeah. yeah. But I like the basis of this. I think I think we're on to something here. It could be a winner. So I'm asking you, if you've made anything like that, maybe you have to go and watch your son play football and you're like, I want to take a roast dinner, but I can't. So you've done that. Maybe it could be, you could, it could be a spaghetti bolognese sandwich. I don't know. I don't know. Me, me, Amelia went, yes, I'd love that. Oh dear. Well, they have meatball sandwiches. Could we do a spaghetti bolognese? I don't know. We want your text messages in. We want your interaction. Uh, you might want to know where this pub is that Phil goes to. Maybe we'll give you that information too. I'm not sure. But what is one thing for sure is that you need to get the first kit because they have got the newer jump rings in them. Now I've got two different colourways for you. The first kit is gold and silver. I will go, obviously we're not launching the kit now. I'm just going to show you what we're getting. I'm yet to steal anything from this. I must steal something. But that necklace I tried on earlier. You wait till you see. So these are a new concept of jump ring. Brand new to the afternoon show. I launched these last week with Debbie Bolford. I think it was last Friday. It was last Friday. It was Friday morning. Sold out like that, Philip. They were gone. We did not have enough. So um, I did have a little word with Hannah Oxbury before she went away. And she got what she would call sample amount of stock. So we don't have, we don't have more than 200. We have less than 200 of these. Oh, we got bang on 100. So you need to be really quick with those. That's all we could get for you. But I really wanted you to all have another chance. Now we're going to kick off today's show. Oh, and I got some musical notes. You need them. Just know that you need them. Now, let's kick off today's show while Fleur readies herself. But it feels like you've just come in and just, you're just here now. You're just, like, you've always been here. Feels like that as It's well. good, isn't it? Yeah. I quite like that. Quite I like the that. scenery. I like it, especially as she brings us all chocolate. Well, do I like the fact that I've eaten half a box of chocolates this morning? Plus, wonderful Alex bought me in goat's cheese, so I've eaten half a block of goat's cheese. So I've had a pretty fattening morning so far. Now, have a look at this. You've got wood. You've got wood, wooden rounds there. You have got marker sight. I love these two together. If you're going on a bit of a winter escape. I meant magna sight, didn't I? Not marker sight. Well, you knew I meant that. You knew I meant that. I didn't know I said that. Sorry. And you've got white magna sight as well. You've also got amethyst. Now, I love these chips. Would you keep these together? I think I would put these all in one project, actually. Even though they're all different shapes, sizes and textures, then I'm going to give to you purple magnesite. And when I looked at this, I actually thought, is that coral? It's got amazing textures to it. Now, these are wheels. I love the wheels. I love it to say wheel, wheels, not wheels, wheels on white. Because it reminds me of Terry Wogan and I've still got a crush on him. I would absolutely put the rounds and the wheels together. They work, don't mm. they? Now, Flo, what about these sorts of bundles? You've got loads of texture here. You've got some different weights in gemstones, some different sizes. Together or separate? Either. Either, really. You could work them together. You've got the, the purple and the turquoise together are mm -hmm. absolutely stunning. The uh, purple and the, the, is it the lavender and um, the white together would be really nice. All together as a, a group, yeah, you could make sets of jewellery all together as a group. Uh -huh. um, and you've got, the, like you said, the textures are different. And the shapes, you've got the, those long nuggets, which, are, which I absolutely love. They give such a depth to a necklace or earrings or bracelet. You've just got a lovely organic feeling when yeah. you've got these chips, haven't you? And you can see all the, the inside of the gemstone a lot more as well. You've got a lot more of that gemstone to look at and to appreciate and to love. They're top drilled as well, so mm. they'd work really nicely on the memory wire that's with yeah. your kit, wouldn't yeah. they? Yeah. You've got five strands here. Five strands of utter variation. One of those strands is amethyst, a birth gemstone. And they're all 8 95 I mean, it just works for me price-wise. Great value if you're shopping on a budget here at Jewelry Maker today. I think we've got something for everybody here today. If you've got an open basket from this morning's show, then make sure you pop this one in. You've got amethyst, blue magnesite, white magnesite, and purple magnesite. And you've got the wood reins there as well. What's the, um, 
the rounditude on the rounds. What's the circumference? Rounditude. That's a new word. Yeah. What are they there, my love? They are eight mil, are they? Perfect for macrame projects. And they're so lightweight. So lightweight. So if you don't want to wear big, chunky, heavy pieces of jewellery, and I can't wear anything big, heavy and chunky today after the cheese and chocolate I've eaten. That is the worst diet I've had today. Half a block of goat's cheese I've eaten. Oh, gluttony, that's what that is. Awful. Greed. It has to be done sometimes. Does it? All uh, right. Yeah. Okay, as long as you're good is. all weekend. If I'm good all weekend? Yeah. I can't promise that, Flo. <laughs> I can't promise it. I did have a bad night, though, because my son had his friend over to stay and he spent the whole night being sick. So I've been up oh. all night with poor little Fraser, and there's nothing worse than being sick when you're, you're not with your mummy. No. Oh, bless so, him. So I was looking after him, and I just thought, oh. And I was also trying not to puke whilst cleaning his puke. Sorry. Sorry. I hope you're not eating. Sorry. Michelle and Kate, there are no Michelle. Jenny, Yorkshire puts some pancakes in the same batter. So you could wrap your roast in a pancake. It works. It works. Yes, she's right. Will it be water resistant, though, to the gravy? That's why he's used the wrap. Then you've got to think about when you're digesting that. So you can wrap your roast in a pancake and spaghetti bolognese sandwiches are lush. Well, you've had spaghetti bolognese sandwiches. You don't have the spaghetti in it, just the bolognese. Two plates, yeah, two lots of carbs together. Yes, yeah, spaghetti, I put just the sauce in. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would enjoy the two mm. lots of carbs, but I know, <laughs> my tummy would not. <laughs> 8.95, what a super deal this is. Uh, make sure you're sending us yeah, yeah, maybe we should be having bolognese sandwich. My daughter made the mistake of calling it spaghetti bolognese before, which really made me laugh. And then she said it all, over and over again. You know how kids do. Leslie and Katie Durham and Hilary and Katie Durham have got this. Eileen, Pamela, Margaret, and Dawn, Jane, Joey Maker in Bridgend, and in staffs, Jill, Leslie, Philip, Lorna in Gloucestershire, uh, Maureen, Marilyn, Carol, Richard, and Anilia. Oh, it's going to be Halloween soon. Did you see Alice and Tara's Halloween pieces? Ah! Oh. They were mind-blowing. She is the wire witch, isn't she? I love it's her. Amazing. I love her. 8.95. She's busy right now building me my dream castle still. I wish she'd hurry up with that. Come on, Alison Tarry. <laughs> Jewelry maker in Gloucestershire, Suffolk, Surrey, Claire, Eleanor, Jane, Iris, Donna, uh, loads of you there. Where's Invercycle? Is it Scotland? Sounds like it, doesn't it? Well, your mum lives in Scotland, you should yeah, know. In is it? Yeah, is my it? mum lives in Highlands, yeah. Is Invercycle near there? Or do it you not know? It sounds like it. Yeah, in it could be. Yeah, it could be, yeah. yeah. Who knows? <laughs> now, still some of those available. Uh, I'm going to give to you. Do we get all three of these for the price tag? Right, can I show you these? They're like white, but they're silvery white. Right, now these are shell pearl. They're like, they're not mink. They're not silver. They're not white. They're a combination of all of those things, and I can't, I can't call it. I can't call it. What is it? What are you going to call them? Who called them beige? <laughs> This is beige, here. It's not beige. I'm just, just like taking my dress apart. It's not beige, is it? No. It's like an off-white, uh, well, Yeah, like a bride, like an ivory, maybe, <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah. Really pretty, I love them. And they've got all this wonderful, they've got like a mystic coating to them. Mm. They are wonderful, aren't they? Aren't they gorgeous? Now, Invercycle is near Glasgow, apparently. Thank you. For, oh, and don't they look, do you know, they're very, do you know, they're reminding me of the Queen together. Mm. You know, really classic, classy, yeah. elegant combination. I don't know who the Queen's stylist is. My gran used to be obsessed with what the Queen was wearing and, and so we'd have to go through, any time she was in a magazine there was a special, we'd have to look at the Queen's outfits and these would be, I love those together. These are very classic, the Queen colours, aren't yeah. they? Now you're also getting, now these two are shell pearl. And they are both six mil round. So they're going to work really nicely in soutache, beautifully in earrings. Great, and I think that you want it uniform, but you want that wonderful pearly finish. And then look at these. Aren't they wonderful? Do you know, can I just say what a lovely combination these are together? Now, these are very mother of the bride, actually. That lovely colour. Yeah. 
and it goes very nicely with like an antique bronze. Really love that. Or a copper. A copper for sure. Copper. Would Absolutely. Be you can imagine that material, that wonderful material, that silk. All three for 9.95, but you'd pay those for the natural freshwater pearls, wouldn't you? And don't forget, shell pearl isn't faux pearl. Shell pearl, elements of real pearl that didn't make the grade for jewellery for whatever reason, all pressed together and, and used to form a new pearl. Whereas a faux pearl is basically a ball of glue or resin covered in a pearly paint. You are getting freshwater pearl and shell pearl Totally all, all beautiful. June's birth gem says we only had 50 of this bundle available. Uh, 30, did you say? Sorry, 30 of this bundle available, and already lots of them have been allocated by Margaret, Gillian, Maureen. Uh, Jury Maker in Somerset's got two of these. Anne in Aberdeenshire, Christine in Dorset, Alison, Jury Maker in Essex, Gillian, Brenda, Hilary, Linda, Julie, Gloria Kay, Paula, Eleanor, Claire, and Jan. Loads of you are in this one. I thought I would sing your names. SPG C09. Uh, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. I think it's a mummy thing. We do that, don't mm. we? Keeps mm -hmm. you in the good mood because you're gonna lose your rag, and if you sing, you can't. Nine ninety-five is the price. What's a word you can't say without? You can't say a word without being angry. Like what? Happy. Well, you're trying to be angry and you say it. Bubble. No, you can't. Bubbles. No, maybe not. I don't know. 995 SPG C09. These do look like they're going to sell out. Don't forget your text messages. We're looking for your classic meals with a modern twist because Phil took a roast dinner wrap to the pub with him the other day. Eleanor says, lasagna sandwiches are amazing. Mashed potato in sandwiches with cheddar. Mm. I suppose mm. we can't argue with that because you do have a chip butty. Yeah. Yeah. And I do love chip butties. Chip and fish finger butties. Loads My of kids are obsessed with fish finger butties. Mm. They love them. We don't call them butties, we call them sandwiches. But yeah. You, yeah. up north, you're butties. We're aren't butties, you? yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> sandwiches or baps. That's yeah. a thing as well. Bread is a thing. Like you could have a you could have a cheese cob, but other people call it a cheese roll. Bread cake up in Yorkshire. Bread, bread cake. A bread cake. What does that mean? It's a cake of bread. A cake of bread. <laughs> Do you like when you go to the fish shop, fish and chip shop, and you have a bread roll? It looks like a cake. So we call, so it, call it bread a cake. A bread cake. Oh, I quite like that, <laughs> but it makes me want to eat something sweet. You could put jam on it. We could put jam on it. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like those have sold out. We're having right old debates today, my loves. <laughs> oh, treble clef time. Well, it's quad clef, not treble clef. Oh, there, four treble clef. <laughs> Oh, I ask you. Who educated me? Well, I told you, didn't I? It was Mr. Jones. He used to fall asleep listening to the cricket. That's, he's got a lot to answer for. No. Mr. Jones, you know who you are of Gloucestershire. And then he'd wake up and go, right! <laughs> and you'd all go, <gasps> right in the middle of a noughts and crosses with Chuck then, sir. No. Stuck a pencil up my nose because I was so in shock. Look at this. You have got... Are these brand new? They've never been seen before. Well, I love them. We all want a bit of music in our hearts. We were just saying we like a good old song. Even if we can't sing, it's still quite enjoyable to have a good old song, isn't it? Now, these have got the loopholes just here, as you can see, and just make the perfect charms. Now, because you get four of them, you could make earrings, one in each ear, and a pendant, have one left over for, well, maybe then a charm bracelet, actually. Now, you're already in for these. They are solid stones. I can see you eyeballing these up, Fleur, and, and you're giving me the nods. They are beautiful. Um, Phil, you said, how many have we got? Why are you making this How many? We've only got, th why have we only got 38? Only cats can hear me right now. They're only 6 95 for four. Tell me everything, Fleur, before they sell out. I would put those with a light blue gemstone and do a frozen bracelet. You know, <gasps> frozen is let it everywhere. Go, let it go. And have a musical charm, char, uh, charm bracelet with those on, with some frosted, you know, the frosted quartz, the blue quartz, or some blue pearls. Though, well, something like that. The the blue of 
frozen and yeah I haven't even those. seen that yet because oh, my kids are not frozen age and I'm absolutely gutted I need to borrow someone's toddler so we can sing together you can have mine thank you and we can be like really let it go because I was gonna go on my own to the cinema but I thought it looked a bit like a weirdo yeah. going to a kids <laughs> film on my own yeah, could we? Yeah, it's not a nice book. Uh, Six ninety-five for these. So Frozen is there? Is there musical notes in Frozen then? Yeah, well, it's all songs. And it's that, all isn't song. it? Yeah, and they all love the songs. So all the kids are loving it, aren't they? Six ninety-five MXG C forty-six. Does look like these are going to sell out. How many have I got left? How many? So many, so many multi buyers. We've only got twelve left, and I've got unchecked baskets from Rosaline, uh, jewelry maker in Tyne and Ware, Anita, Maggie, Marion, Edwina. Um, lots of you are checking out baskets. Anna, you've just checked out. Well done, Sarah. Maggie's checked out now. Susan, you've checked out. I need you've got to check out. Rosaline, you're going to miss out. Edwina, you're going to miss out. Jury Maker and County Antrim. Uh, Ros in Bristol, you're going to miss out if you don't check out your baskets now. Gwyneth, you've got two. Now, listen, there are people multi buying, so these are going to sold out. Woof! And breathe, girls. Breathe. Oh, I tell you. I tell you. Now, uh, we've been having conversations about you um, in capturing. You, you've been putting things, lots of memory things in resin. So are we looking at maybe a resin show with you one day? Yeah, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Good. I'm looking forward to that. Now I've got these gorgeous frosted agates. And these, if you are looking to create Halloween-y pieces, and I know you did Halloween with Alison Terry, but... I do think it's important to have as many oranges as you can in autumn and winter because they just go with so much. And I want you to think about maybe putting these with the wood that you got from earlier because I think they look lovely with that. And I want you to think about putting them also with the turquoisey tones because I love that. It can make it look more terracotta then and more kind of sp espanola. Hispanic, is that what I meant? Who knows? Who knows? I, uh, my brain did not consult my mouth, so my mouth was asking my brain what it meant. Now, have a look at these those are the pumpkins I, I do love a bit of Halloween these wonderful big bold bright pumpkins you have got such incredible color out of these you've got all these wonderful patterns when you look inside there's a thing about I love about magnesite it's a little bit like turquoise in that it's got a matrix and you can see that can't you I mean look at all of those veins they're fantastic then I'm gonna give to you Little round carnelians. Are they carnelians? They're agates, actually, aren't they? Yeah. Now, these are going to be really nice to be gold. I love oranges with smoky quartz. Mm. Are, are you ever frightened to use bright colours like this, Flora? Or do you just go right onwards and upwards? Yeah, I put it with the purple out of the first bundle. That one, the yeah. deep one? Yeah. Yeah, I love those bright. That yeah. contrast works like very nice. Colour blocking, yeah. Mm. No, I, I, used, I never used to use those kind of colours until I got them and I got some um, jaspers and I put them with the jaspers and they looked beautiful and now all I have is carnelians and that I've just done a bonfire collection <gasps> which is all like, Ooh. looks like bonfires. The 5th of November bonfire collection, I love that idea. Mm. Think about roaring fires and add the reds in there and the yellows and the flashes of pinks as well. Think about nature, think about how, we, how getting those colours because if they work in nature they're going to work so well in your jewellery as well. And have a look at this, all three. And please remember that we're talking genuine gemstones. We're giving you such great value lately. We are completely aware that other shopping channels do um, do jewellery making at the moment. Can they beat us on price? Can they beat us on quality? Are you getting really long strands like this? Do they specialise in genuine gemstones and jewellery making? I think when you ask yourself all those questions and you know what the honest answer is, you're definitely picking up the phone and dialing for these. We're giving you great value and I do stand by that. I do go and have a look, it's important. I walk into the bead shops, I go, yesterday I went into um, Stevenage for a little bit with my friend and I saw there's a jewellery maker and I know that she gets things from jewellery maker but I don't want to say anything to her um, because she was bit, like busy, I've seen her there before, she's got like um, loads of the gizmo coils and the, uh, it's definitely our wire, definitely our, and I wanted to sort of go up to her really and say what is it about jewellery maker that you love because I can see that these are our gemstones, I can see that there's lots of things that um, definitely jewellery maker but look at this price tag, when you have got a business, when you are creating to sell you can't deny that prices like 6 95 for three wonderful strands is such great 
value. How long can we keep going on giving you price tags like that? I don't know. But what I do know is you are getting them now. Please take advantage of this value. Like we said earlier, if you are shopping on a budget and you want to be able to just make, but you, you know what, you, you're not going to splash out lots and lots of cash, then this is a wonderful opportunity because for $6.95, you're getting this season's colours and you're getting them for a tiny, tiny price tag. You know, I bought some tights yesterday. They were four ninety-five. Just waving at everyone. I went, give them all a good wave. We love you. We love you. There they are. They're up in the tour. Too late, Mateo. Oh, no, he's got him. Come back. Come back. There they are. There they are. The lovely Wendy. You've got to love Wendy. You literally can't help but love her. She is so funny. You just you love her when you come and see us. Six ninety five. You've got to check baskets out. That one's going to sell out. It is good value though, Fleur. Here at Jewelry Maker, do you think? It is. If you bought those first three bundles and you were going to do a Christmas stall at your children's fair, and all you did was stretch your bracelets at three pound each, you would get at least two bracelets and a pair of earrings out of each strand, and you you sell them three three four pound each. I mean, some of them, if you bought the musical notes as well, put one little charm in it. That's Ooh, got to be yeah. like a fifteen pound, ten fifteen pound bracelet. Those were a crazy price, yeah. real silver. Yeah. I are. mean, I'd have bought a lot of those if I'm yeah. looking for real silver. Yeah. And I think you're right, because you are going to have to give some um, proceeds to the school, actually, as well, aren't you? Yeah, you usually pay for your table. It's usually about £10 for your table. So if you say two stretchy bracelets and that's your table and then the rest, mm. and then once you've paid for your gemstones, then the rest is clear profit. And what you don't sell, you give as your Christmas presents for... Perfect. For your family. Perfect. You've got every colour there for the young, younger, the pearls for, you know, mums and grandmas and the aunties. And then the other ones, beach jewellery, men's jewellery with the wood. Kids jewellery. Uh, kids jewellery. And it, it does, I mean, every little bit like that helps because yeah. Christmas is very expensive. Yeah. Now, I'm going to give you one of my favourites. What, what else comes with this? Green amethyst. Is this a green amethyst? Really light green. I've never seen green amethyst that pale of you. I had a kit last Sunday that had some of those in and they were stunning. I think they're lovely, like little dew drops. Right, I'm going to show you the peridot first because, oh, you know I love this gemstone. And I've got peridot in all different shapes and sizes, but I haven't got this kind of peridot. This kind of peridot has got all the different shades of peridot into it, mm. which I really like because this looks very, very natural. So it's like multi peridot here that you're getting which I really, really love. I love this texture. You know what, it does go very well with purple, green. I actually think if you got that earlier, those are gonna be very, very close to nature together, aren't they? I, I really, I, I love Peridot because it's my daughter's birth gemstone, I think that made me love it. And then we get a lot of Peridot, Mia and I, and, and it's just such a gorgeous colour. Both me, both my daughter and I enjoy springtime. We love the lamb. I mean, Mia's always loved going and doing the lambing with my uncle. So when it's springtime, she gets really excited. I love spring. I'm going to go do the lambs. And then there's baby chicks and all of that. You know, it's just such a happy time, isn't it? It's full of optimism. And, and I love springtime. It's full of hope, spring, isn't it? And, and I want to show you. Have you ever gone up, got up really, really, really early? And walked across the grass, the lawn. It could be just your, your lawn. You said no as soon as I said really, really early. You're missing out on a crisp, crisp, crisp autumn morning. Oh, I love this time of year for that. Now, this morning I did this. I got up really, 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 really early because I was cleaning up gross stuff that, from Fraser. Um, but I got up really, really early and I did, I was going to look for the cat outside and there were dew drops everywhere and I thought, oh, I love, I love this. And actually it wasn't cold, it was fresh. That's what this reminds me of, a fresh morning. And it doesn't have to be spring, does it? Because actually it's very fresh in the, in the winter. Are we in winter? We're autumn, aren't we now? Yeah. Very fresh in the autumn. I want you to have a look at this amethyst. This is green amethyst and it's so light. It's, it's, it's an apple white. Mm. Well, they're not white, are they? They're clear. But it, well, it's just like a dewdrop is yeah. how, I can, how I can describe it to you. Now, really, you do have to get this. Look at this price tag, £6.95, a 30-day money-back guarantee. It is craze balls. £6.95, you've got 
two birth gemstones. Peridot is August, of course, Amethyst is February. So you've got two birth gemstones here. This is an incredible, incredible deal. Peridot is never $6.95, is it? For two. For two. This is the green amethyst here, and this is the peridot here. It's really pale green amethyst. That's why I'm saying they're like dewdrops. They're gorgeous. Tom said, wait, stop. Do you know what Tom did to me as well, everybody? He texted me yesterday with a picture of Zelda. It was horrible. I thought, who is this? Because you used a funny name in your text. Like you sent it me on a funny message I don't understand. Like it was like an email, but it came up as a text message. I don't know why. Oh, you, I messed up what that is. So I thought, who's this chunky monkey or something? You were, what's your name? Am I allowed to say that? Scrappy drum monkey. I don't know what that means. Um, anyway, Tom, I opened my phone and I was with my friend and went, Aah! she went, what's wrong with you? I went, my friend just sent me that and hate She was like, Zelda. And I was like, no. Half the stock of this bundle has gone. Of course it has. It's only 6 95 Value for money for just unbeatable, isn't it? Yeah. And even if you don't use it straight away, because when you want peridot as a, gem, as a birth gemstone in August, it might not be here. So to have it now, to get it for that price, and just even to pop it in your stash, even with some Christmas reds or some um, rose quartz for spring, you, it's, a, it's all year round. It goes with everything. It's like you say with nature. Every green's in everything with nature, so it goes with that. I, I agree with you, and, but that's why green's my favourite colour. Always has been, mm. always will be. And again, I, do, I always say springtime, peridot, optimism, you know, nice, nice, happy thoughts. I think that's, and I think it's important to have that. I think it's important to have, to be reminded of those colours and yeah. be reminded of that lovely time, isn't it? Because sometimes when you look outside and it's dreary and you just think, oh, you've had a few days of it, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of lovely green to remind yourself about the springtime. Six pounds and ninety-five pence is your price tag. Now, did I just hear you? There's only ten of those left. They're going to, um, they're going to sell out, I think. I've got fresh water pearls to give you now. Did you just call Mateo Dobby? Is that what you just did? You did, didn't you? What happened? Was a joke happening that I wasn't aware of? Oh, apparently it's a personal joke. I'm not allowed to. I can do a good Dobby impression. I don't, you didn't know who Dobby was in Harry Potter? Dobby loves Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> I do that to Max all the time. <laughs> Dobby loves Harry Potter. He goes, no. <laughs> I cried when Dobby died. <laughs> so I was in the <laughs> cinema going. And Max said, are you crying? And I went, I think I'm trying not to. Are you crying? And he went, no. <laughs> and then I kept going, Dobby loves you. Now, have a look at this. We've got button pearls. Now, I blooming love these button pearls, I do. You know why I love them? Because they've got a flat bottom, and mainly because I'm jealous of them for that. Now, have a look. Have a look. Do you see that flat bottom there? Now, that works really, really well in your jewellery if you want something to flat, sit flat. But also, if you like to use your jewellery glue... Now, these are the perfect pearls to use if you want to make stud earrings because you've got that flat bottom and then I'm going to turn it around and look how perfect they are on the other side. So for me this is a strand of many, many options. I can put these in a row on a hair comb. I can put these on a fascinator or a tiara. They can go actually all the way across the tiara band and I can glue them on there and they'll stay and they'll be real pearls. I love that about them. But also you can make wonderful pearl rings out of these. Because they're drill hold, I would put, you know that flat part's not gonna dig in, is it, to the skin. So because they're drill hold, and of course you might only have two or three or even one, but you can see how it sits better than, an, than a pure round. Now you could actually do a stretchy ring like that, but I would put it probably on some wire and do some nice little embellishments or some solids doing silver or something. I do always hide, um, hold pearls in very high regard. And I know 
But you're a lover of pearls mm. as well, Fleur. Yeah. What about that flat bottom? Is that something that appeals to you in any of your yeah. designs? Yeah, because like you say, when you use it with wire or if you're doing a tiara twist or it's to sit flat against the skin, it will, it won't stand up away. So hair combs, tiaras, um, like the necklace that I'm wearing now where they're all quite flat, that will sit really nice. So when you do your tiara twist or your wire twists in there, it will sit flush to your skin and it won't stick out away. And it gives like a bigger surface area, so you get more of the luster from the pearl. Yeah, you do, because it's all centralised onto yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Yeah, you get an amazing pearlescence coming from these. I, I love that they're so beautiful. That's not just for this. Why are they only 7 .90? Just don't question it. Just get on it. Go do it quick. <laughs> don't ask him. Let's just get on with it and buy them quick. Uh, I, now, you know that Hannah and um, Paul are out buying pearls now, and they, the report back is that they are finding them very expensive again. Oh, dear, I don't know why they're such a great price tag, but I would take advantage. And again, these are flat-bottomed. Flat-bottom pearls, you make the rocket. You get what I just done? Well, good. Yeah, no, didn't like it. Just came to me, Phil, sorry. He's not impressed by that. It, it, it wasn't as inspirational as the... Uh, Roast in a wrap, I'll admit it. Now, so you've got them uh, in the coffee colour and you've got them in that beautiful natural peach. I just love this look. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Now, these are very mother of the bride together. They're absolutely classically gorgeous. You can't argue with a pearl. You just can't argue with a pearl. Elegant to a T. And, and, and there's nothing can take a pearl sophistication away. It doesn't matter what you do to it. Very steampunky they can be, and we've got a steampunk show on Saturday. You know, these can go in a classic piece, or just like Fleur's wearing now, a very modern piece with a classic twist. RCG C72 is your item code. There are 25 unchecked baskets for this. We are very busy this afternoon. It is luscious to have your company here at Jewelry Maker. £7.95, 0806 or the w.jurymaker.com if you're shopping online. Uh, hello to a jewelry maker in New York, Mary in Dublin. I've got Anne, I have got Margaret, I have got jewelry maker in the West Midlands. Lynn's got two. Mary, you've got two. Moira, Mavis, Amanda, I've got lots of you shopping with two in your baskets I've got a letter for me I wish it was a letter uh, Mary says hi Jenny hi Fleur the flat bottom pearls are great as buttons for hand knitted baby cardigans yes May they are oh they are they are they are I remember my grand did me like a little matinee jacket with the pearls yeah. well, I love that little just on gloves you have a cheap gloves that you could just sew three three oh, on like to that make them look expensive yeah that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Those I like the baby jacket. Seller. Yeah, the baby jacket's nicer though. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. I, lo I, I love little knitted things yeah. for babies. Yeah. I love that. My grand knitted all my kids, both of my kids, not all my kids, I've only got two, uh, their little cardigans for when they came out of hospital. And they're so special. Uh, now, you know what? Here's me nattering. And it's DI o'clock. <laughs> I just said to Phil, this kit's going to sell straight out, mind. Is it? Oh, yeah, you be prepared, I said. Now, I'm going to show you the element that's going to get you really excited first. We have got, do you remember last Friday I launched with Debbie Bulford the square round jump rings? If you're thinking, what is she talking about now? You weren't here on, no, it was in the morning. It wasn't, I do need, um, oh, there they are. Now, wah! Now, I'm going to show you the kit and I do think it's going to sell out really quickly when we had um, the launch of these and we haven't got as much as we had at launch we've only got 100 of these I will get on I would advise you now if you love anything different you have got a 30 day money back guarantee remember that because when I show you this kit and you see the price tag I know that you're all over these amazing new jump rings I know that you're excited to have them please put it in your basket straight away and check it out if you if you just can't deal with missing out today last time when I launched these as many people missed out as got the kit and don't want that happening to you today if you've been waiting for a long time so just pop it in your basket now and know that if you don't love it you can send it back 
but you can't reorder these. We've only got this amount in stock. Now, I'm going to show you what I mean by a square jump ring. So you have got, as opposed to the traditional jump ring, the square jump ring. I think by showing it to you, you go, ah, now I see. Now you are getting the gold and the silver. Now you're getting an inner dimension, let me show you. Let me show you the gold, the larger dimensions are 8.3 inner, 11.5 outer. Then we go to a 10 mil inner, 13.2 outer. 5 mil inner, outer 7.4. 13.2 outer, I've done that, and 7.4 outer diameter to a five millimeter inner. Now, you have got the varying sizes that I just mentioned in both gold and black. You get three lots of the gold, two lots of the black. Fleur's gonna speak to you about how they, how easy they are to work with. They're aluminium, so they're really strong, but they've got their color all the way through and they are saw cut. Very easy to work with, but they keep their solidarity. They're gonna get an entirely different look out of these. Fleur, do you mind if I just have one of the pieces of jewelry to show everybody what the finish is? Thank you, because I think before you buy this, you'll be like, well, I need to see what the, now already over a quarter of the stock's gone. So a third of the stock's gone. You've got to be quick. So this is how, now I would say actually, if you've never really done a lot of chain mail before, I would go for these because they're bigger and they're easier to handle than the smaller, slightly fiddlier ones. These are easier. For somebody like me, I know how to do chain mail, I do. I don't do a lot of it because, because of the time issue. I would always go for these because they're much easier. I had a little go with Debbie Bulford, they're easier. So. With this kit, you get how many of each do I get? You get 100 of each. One, two, three, four. So I've got 500 jump rings in total. Half of the kit gone. You've got to be quick. 600 do I get? Okay, you get 600 jump rings in total. 300 black, 300 gold. Now, I'm also going to give to you some other wonderful elements to this kit. You're also going to get the gold memory wire, which I love. You're going to get 10 spools of the necklace memory wire. You're going to get 14 spool, coils to the spool. Over half the stock has gone. Please make sure you check out your baskets. And then you're going to get 14 coils in the ring spool. Now, I'm also going to give to you, we had the pyrite the other day. It's similar, but not the same color. Well, I've got to tell you, I love them. I absolutely love these. Now, what I love about these is that you've got a lovely thick edge and they're, they're really thick, so they're perfect for Soutache. You've got 100 of carrots. I just want you to see that amazing luster. These are definitely for the party season. Look at that bling. Absolutely super, aren't they? Then I'm going to give you, oh, I love this. I love these. This is such a great kit, by the way. You are going to get, now look at the classic cut. They're almost like the round, brilliant cut tops of a diamond. Have a look. I think these are absolutely gorgeous and that is spinel, so it's a very high-end kit. Approaching three quarters of the stock has gone. Then you have got the agate as well, the black agate. So we're talking about black and gold elegance here. There's a nine mil rounds. Don't see a lot of nine mil rounds, mind. It's a 36 centimeter strand. So with your memory wire, your strands, and your jump rings, you're getting a super variation ready for Christmas you're gonna make the most outstanding Christmas pieces of jewelry now like I said the last time last Friday when I launched these they sold out this is the last tester stock we have when, when we when we launched these I told you we didn't have loads because Hannah Oxby didn't want to order loads and then for you not to love them and then we got them in the we got them in the warehouse so what she does she orders a little bit then when you love them she orders loads She's gone away now, so I don't know how. She's out in, um, in China and in India. Now, they should be 38 pounds and 50 pence. For all of this, I would pay that, because I know I've got super value. Remember, all, 
over half the stock has gone approaching three quarters of the stock has now gone and sold out we're going to give you a better deal than you're seeing on your screen right now but you do need to be quick i don't want anyone missing out on this kit three wonderful strands that i love and all of these brand new concepts to jump rings you've never seen them here on the afternoon show show before pig c58 at 27 pounds and 95 pence you have got superb value 82 have gone we don't have many left we're approaching single figures you are going to need to if you want lots of this color and you want lots of this color before christmas then you have to buy two of this kit i am going to give you another colorway in the second kit of the day we're down to the last six of these you're going to have to be very 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 quick i have many unchecked baskets have i got 20 unchecked baskets we've got six kits available pi five kits available pig four kits available three kits available Two kits available. Looks like they've got it sold out. If you don't check out, they're gone. Uh, oh, 0800 You want to take the last one? Any second now, it's going to go. Now, in the in the kit's gone. Uh, in the is it gone? Did you say it's gone? It's gone. Um, in the second kit, we've got a different colours, different colours of um, of the jump rings. But I know. Oh, let's take you. But I know that's going to sell out as well, so you're going to have to be well quick today. I don't want you missing out on these. What did you think, Fleur, about these? Because um, you, uh, you and I and Debbie Bolford have been in talks about these new jump rings as it was. You both wanted to bring something original to the table, yeah. so you've worked together with Debbie yeah. Bolford on this, uh, yeah. uh, it, which Debbie said to me, you know, oh, Fleur and I are really going, yeah. uh, throwing ideas backwards and forwards. How did you find these to work with? But just amazing they're so lightweight it look they look substantial pieces but they don't weigh a lot so the material themselves the aluminium is just beautiful to work with really lovely the colorway is perfect for Christmas you've been doing chainmail for a long time you do your medieval events yeah. and things like that and yeah. you sell jewelry yeah. uh, there so I mean you've been working with the smaller fiddly ones mm. has has this given you bit more of a free run with it. it was it yeah. easier than the fiddlier smaller jump rings? Yeah at first I was like oh I don't know what to do because I'm used to such intricate jump rings but when I started I just couldn't stop making. I, I, I imagine the flow is quicker because it, they are so much easier to handle. They're hand yeah, easier to handle, the sizes of them mean you can do different kinds of weaves as well that you can't do with the small ones because they're all to do with the aspect ratio. So you can do different weaves that you couldn't you can do, do before? Yeah, the weave that you were going to do today, you can't do with a, with a smaller than an aspect ratio of five, which for what we sell is a seven mil, uh, the seven mil jump rings. But with these, you can do it perfectly and it holds its shape. And because they sort of like link, they lock together and it makes such a, a substantial but lightweight chain. And I mean, chain is everywhere on the high street at the minute. There's a lot of jewellery made with just pure chain. And this weave that we're going to do has got two sides, so you can either have gold and black or black and gold. Do you know, that looks <laughs> like a Chanel handbag strap. Mm, yeah. It does. Yeah. You could make handbag straps. You've got enough. <laughs> There's plenty in there. It's a different look entirely. Yeah, it is. It's le it, it is a different mm. look entirely to the smaller... Yeah. I mean, if you're already on a roll with your with the other with the traditional style of chainmail, then this is going to suit you because it's going to be so easy. And if, like me, you like the easy life and you know how to do a bit of chainmail here and there, but you're not the best at it, I would get this because it's going to make you. Well, you can't get it now, but if you have got it, well done. Um, but I would get the next one because we've got some more. This is phenomenal absolutely beautiful i'll talk you through the tools in a sec now um i want to show you where fleurs used the smaller jump rings as well i'm going to give you some more bits and pieces and then we're going to, going to get to the but you can use so it just gives it a whole new yeah. dimension it's kind of like and modern isn't yeah, it that's just a simple two in two two in two and that's all that is but it, again very um classic look and then that's a butterfly that's on the front which i I'm love gonna it do maybe for another kit if somebody if there's any weaves that anybody wants me to do as well if you just message me because i get we'll messages just saying you know can we do this weave just let me know and uh, i'll try and incorporate it into some more designs i love these well obviously i'm going to steal yeah. once you realize this and they're right? so lightweight so they're well i'll, I'll tell you i'll tell you how lightweight <laughs> they are when they're going when they're going your ears yeah uh, now look at this i just love this i tried this on upstairs this is the one i tried yeah. on isn't it yeah. i love it how fantastic is this wonderful just wonderful i'm going to steal some earrings 
And which piece are you going to show us the butterfly? I'm no, I'm going to show you the full Persian. Oh, brilliant, the full Persian. Yep. It does sound like something I would go and have when I'm yes, going for a wax. wax. Well, I chose the full Persian because I was watching 300. <laughs> It's also called foxtail. Give me the full Persian, <laughs> I need it. Or it's called foxtail, so you can also go, If you don't want a full Persian, you can have a foxtail. <laughs> I'm not sure I do want a full Persian. I struggle enough. Yeah, it sounds no. beautiful. <laughs> it does sound funny, though. No, I don't want it. No, no, let's not go there, Jenny. You can have a half Persian as well. Pardon? You can have a half Persian. Mind you, Persian cats are very hairy, actually, aren't they? Oh, we'll not go there. No, we won't. <laughs> I love Persian cats. They're yeah. lush. They have got the big old face. fluffy, especially blue ones. Yeah. They're so gorgeous. Don't you think they look like they've run into a wall, though? Yeah, I like that face. about them. I can relate to their little squished faces. <laughs> Now, um, you've got those wonderful large jump rings. Now, if you haven't got these at home and you want to learn, can I suggest that you get some of our coloured wire and have a little play with that? We are trying to get these in, actually. Mm. I don't know if you were aware, but yeah. you're probably working with Pip to yeah. try and get them. It's a great way of showing everybody how to do the full Persian. So we are going to try and say that without giggling, yep. but also try and learn how yep. to, how to um, actually how achieve to the foxtail. So what we're going to do, that's it, better call it foxtail. It's better for me. It works better. <laughs> what we're going to do, this is more of, um, it's not a hard weave, but it's, it's hard to get your head round starting it. So what we're going to do to start with is show you how to add rings to an already made piece. So it will make sense then when we start the weave in a minute where the ring's going to go. Oh, okay, so you're going to show so us halfway show you through. How to, yeah, I'm just going to show you how to. You're going to teach us the tune, and then we're going to learn the words. That's, that's it. That's what that, we're doing. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Do you like the way I did, did that? That's Do you like the way I turned that into something else? <laughs> so, in these jump rings, it doesn't hold its form as big as much because these are, are large jump rings for the television, just so you can see properly. So if I let it go down, it does fall flat. But okay. yours won't with the with the square. Yeah, because they're more solid and they're because solid. they've got more of a diameter yeah. to them. Yeah, and they've got the right aspect ratios. Mm. So what we're going to do is it's a series of four rings linked together and you have two horizontal and two vertical. So if I can, as I turn it, you can see again, we've got purple and gold and then gold and purple. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to add two vertical rings to the purple ring. Brenda in Essex is saying, what wonderful designs today, totally wearable, and looking forward to the demonstrations. Thanks, Brenda. Thank you. So then we've got our two vertical rings. Okay. Now, this is the bit where people do struggle and they give up on it, but it is easy if you just do it nice and slowly. Okay. So we're going to take another colour. Now, the thing with full Persian is, you never, if you do it in two colours, it's easier to learn, and you never add the same colour to the same colour. You oh. always add a different colour. So if you go to do that, eh, eh, yes. wrong, so wrong. It, so, okay. if, yeah. so if I had another gold, and I went to put a gold through here, mm -hmm. that's wrong. Okay. okay? So, if I, so I'm going to use the green and we'll start. So what I'm going to do is going to pick up the two vertical rings, the two gold rings, okay, and drop it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so the two gold rings, and then we have to pick up the two pink rings, okay. So we're going to go through the pink. So the top ring always stays horizontal. And then we're going to close. OK. So now if I show you it that way, you can see that it follows the pattern. So we can oh, oh, yeah, hang, hang on, on just, me, just a second. Yeah, just let me. Wait there. That's there we it. go. There we go, there we that's go. It. He left his post, okay. sorry. So I can, you can see the new pattern. So that's one side done. Now the thing is with full Persian is you have to do two sides. So now we're going to turn the work over again and we're going to do it exactly the same. So we can see again, we go back to the start, we hold our two horizontal rings, we've got our pink rings already on there, we take another green ring, we're going to go through the gold, keep it horizontal, and then through the two pink rings that we added to start with. And again, as long as you keep it horizontal, it will keep its shape. Okay, and then close that ring, and then you can see the new pattern starting. Perfect, okay. yes, yes. So now what we have to do to add on to this pattern then is to add another two pink jump rings, okay. 
So we add another two, and I'll just do it one more but time. But you're not adding pink to pink, not are you? Not adding pink to pink. I'm adding Because that's pink. a big no-no. Yeah, you never add to the same colour. So Which is why it's so great to use two, two different colours. colours. It works yeah. so well. And that's why I thought with this kit, that would be a perfect one to learn. So we put our two vertical rings on. Again. And now we hold the green rings. Now we've got and green's got to go through pink. Green's got to go through, through the pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get it, I get it. Okay. Yay. So we go, we keep it horizontal through the two large pink. Top ones. And then you have to catch the two Bottom. that are falling down, those vertical rings. Um, and it to be honest, these it's easier with the smaller rings because it holds its shape a lot easier. Flip the work over. So if I hold it up again, you can see that with, with just one side on, one side's done. If I turn it, you can see you haven't got the V in the green oh, on the that's other side. really good. Yes, I can okay. see that. Yes, so can you it's see really that clear. But they're that way back to... That's yeah, it. Yeah, they go up. Yep, yep, yep. So Perfect. if you miss, if you put it down to go answer the door or something, you think, oh, I can't remember where I was, lift it up and look where the V is and see what you're missing because you will have two sides to do. Sorry. <laughs> this next one. Um, remember when you were here last time doing yep. chainmail with me yep. and you put an earring finding yep. on the one? Uh, would you recommend putting some wire or something on the end we're of gonna where do, you yeah. start? We're going to do wire with this one because it's longer to hold. The earring okay. finders are, are shorter, so we need to have two handles. So when we start it in a minute, I'll show you why the wire works better than with, than with the earring finders for this weave only. Perfect. Thanks. We're very excited. Uh, Jacqueline in County Durham. Hi, Jenny. When I do chainmail, Chain mail, I use a piece of beading wire to hold the jump rings yeah. and that's from Jack yeah, yeah absolutely that's what so we're definitely yeah, so yeah I've got the wire on that one ready got another question for you okay. we've got so many text yeah. messages thank you so much uh, Paula in Essex can we see the bracelet Fur is wearing what weave is it and we're getting a million questions it's exactly the same it's, it's the exactly same the same weave I wore it so that you can see oh, in the smaller jump rings it works. Um, it works. So this is a, in a diameter of five. So the ones that we sell at Jewelry Maker, it's the seven millimeter jump rings, and that's copper and silver, the ones that we get from here. So it's exactly the same, but it's a different. It looks different because they're round and not square. I love it. I love yeah. that. So I'm going to learn this first. It's going to be easier with these yeah. big ones. Yeah. And then I'm going to. I'm going. I won't push my. I don't think. Don't push yourself because there's nothing worse than not getting it right and get frustrated and then not wanting yeah. to do it. Yeah. You know what? Do it. The, go simple first. Don't so, don't run before you can walk. That's it. And yeah, like I say, simple sometimes can look beautiful, and you don't have Agreed. to go over the top. You really don't. You can keep it nice and simple. And then make a classic piece of jewellery that you can add gemstones to to embellish it rather than go and frighten yourself with some of these really intricate weaves and get lost halfway through and then it just sits in your drawer and you yeah. never you never finish it. It's, I tried knitting and I couldn't sew it all together and I tried to do something too complicated before to doing start the scarf. Off with, yeah, don't yeah. start Aaron knitting. That's it. You do. <laughs> I, do, I, I used to be able to knit, but then my grand's so good at it that I just thought, yeah, let, let them do it. Do it. <laughs> let it do it. Um, we've got. And okay. loads and loads of um, text messages. What did you just say, Philip? Sorry? The, right, before we need to give everybody, okay. just before we do yeah, this next no bit, um, some pliers to help them along their way. Yeah. Now, when we asked you what a great pliers to do chain mail with, you told us that about the, the chain nose pliers, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Really great. So, what we're going to do is give you the two different options in the chain nose pliers. Now, one of the chain nose pliers. Um, have a long nose, so let's have a look at that. So if you want to get right into an intricate work, these are invaluable if you're using uh, maybe the sterling silver or the smaller jump rings, but they will work very well with the larger jump rings yeah. that you've just got as well uh, for opening and closing. But these chain nose pliers are also wonderful. And I'm going to take them out actually, because I want to show you the length of the nose on these, because if you work with wire as well as a jump ring, you can see how it's got such a skinny little nose there and that works very well indeed when you want to do a spiral or anything like that. I've got the traditional chain nose pliers in this bundle as well and it's great to have both Fleur yeah. isn't it? Yeah you need both. We don't need both, it'd be nice to have both. <laughs> but yeah, they, the, the long, long nose ones, if you do a piece and then you see that your ring closure is not completely together, you can go in with those long nose pliers and get into a piece and just wiggle it closed. And they're great for your dominant hand in chain mail, those. Which the long ones would yeah. be in your dominant yeah. hand. Let's try sort of opening. Now, the great thing to do with these, 
You haven't spent 10 hundred years closing these all, have you? No, 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 no. Sure? no, no. no, like, no don't do it, no. darling. The great thing is that you can use them both together, really. You don't, I mean, even if you're not working with wire, it's great to have two chain nose yeah. pliers. And Debbie Bolford always says this, because you just do this when you want to open them, and it's open. You know, if you don't have that, you could hold, you know, it, it makes things a little bit slower for you. It's just easier. You can't see that, can you? Because it's behind my, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, I just realized that you probably couldn't even see what I did there. Let's have a look. You can see it there next to me, beige. There we are. You see how you just do that and then back again? I won't go any lower, Tom, don't worry. Uh, now, so you've got those, the long nose and the short nose pliers. I'll put that back there in case you counted them. But I'm also gonna give you a comfort grip side cutter pliers. If you wanna make your own jump rings or you wanna snip pieces to a, a side angle, probably I would, if I was using these for, I'd use these for wire rather than making jump rings yeah. after, because the flush cutters are the best for the... Yeah. Uh, but these are great if you want to snip off little bits of excess. If you're, yeah. you know, they're just a great all-round plier. And, you know, sometimes you don't want to use your flush cutters. They're your expensive pliers. I would use these for memory wire. I would use these for those little snippy bit. Oh, but also, if I want to make a point, if I want mm. to make a brooch or yeah. something like that, then yeah. these are invaluable. Yeah. I wouldn't make a point with my with my uh, flush cutters because they're going to cut flush. These are going to cut to an angle. Let me show you that so you can see just here how the cutters go to an angle. So if you wanted to get that more of a pointed look, this is what you're going to go for. It will cut, these will cut wire as well. If you can't stretch it to the flush cutters, these are fine. Now, you're going to get all three with a lovely sparkly comfort grip We've only got 24 of these available at this price. We're only allowed to give you 24 at that price tag. Absolutely crazy. Seven pounds and 95 pence. Now you're not paying any extra PMP &P if you've already ordered with us today. You don't have to actually pay any extra. So by putting this in your basket, looks like these are gonna sell out by the way, you're getting a great, I mean, if you walk into that big um, crafty store, you, I've never seen a tool like this for less than 8 95 on its own. They're normally 9 99 yeah. You're getting three for 7 95 This is going to sell out any second. I've got 20 unchecked baskets. Now how many have gone? 15. Now 28 to give it this price today. And that's it. They're gone after that. Less than 10 available now. We're down to last seven. ZIG C54, £7.95. pence. An invaluable tool stasher. This is what you need. This is what you need. Right, should we crack on and learn how to do that amazing weave? Because I know so many of you are waiting. Uh, it does look like these are going to sell out though. Now, if you want to do chain mail as well, that's all you need. Just two pairs, pairs of pliers. That's all you need. You Absolutely. Don't need anything else. And your jump rings. Yeah. That's and then you're all done. You need. Yeah. In tool, tool wise, that's all you need. It is. Now. Right, so I'm just going to finish off for you this side, and then we're going to go on to how we start the weave. So we're back to the two pink jump rings. Keep the ring vert uh, horizontal. Break. Pull the two pink jump rings together, and it slides through and then you close and so that's how to add the rings onto the weave mm -hmm. okay so if I just lay it down there you can see then what we've done okay and then to finish that to put the next one on we put the vertical rings back on then and start again okay so that's how we add the rings so it should now make this a little bit more sense when we go to starting the weave so we got the tune yep yeah. Now we're going to learn the words. We are. I like that. <laughs> so we need two and a two linked together. And then I've added quite a long piece of wire to each side. Now the longer the piece of wire, the better, because you've got a handle to hold on it. Now, there's lots of different ways to start this weave, but I find this the easiest for me to remember. OK. OK, so what we're going to do is we're just going to take the two pieces of wire and we're going to fold one piece of wire on top of the other. Okay. And that makes those jump rings sit inside sit. each other. That's it. So you've got your horizontal and your vertical. Okay. Now we're going to start the weave by putting another pair of vertical on. So we're going to go for the red because we never add the same colour to the same colour. Now when it starts this weave, it can look messy. And 
a lot of people again will give up straight away because it doesn't look like it looks in the necklace on the piece that I've made. So don't be put off by don't that. Don't be put off. You can always take the first, if the first inch hasn't gone right, you can always take it off at the end. It's best to get in the flow, yeah, like riding the bike. Get in the flow, it. get in the flow. That's yeah. it. So it doesn't matter if the first bit's messy. A bit like Viking weave, the first bit's always a bit messy where you get the pattern. You've so got now, to get in the zone for you things have. like that, haven't you? So now what we have is the start. Okay, so mm -hmm. we can see there we've got our V and our, hori and our vertical rings. Yes, now rings. that works by explaining the V and then the verticals. Yep. That works for me. That's it. So then we're going to take a blue jump ring. And I add them to the red because you never add to the same colour. That's it. So we're going to go through the two, the V. So you go through the V. That's it. Okay. Through the V. And it's not very stable because it's got nothing to hang on to. But this don't is worry. the fiddliest bit when you start. Yeah, the first couple rings are the fiddliest bit. So that's your vertical, uh, your horizontal, and then we're going to go through the vertical, and we're going to close. And again, what we do to one side, we do to the other. And as you can see there, it's a little bit floppy. It's not holding its shape. Don't worry, it will. Sorry, I've got another question. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> I'm going. <gasps> um, I noticed when you put those back together, you went back and then forward. Did yeah. you do that on put? Uh, and just to explain that, when Fleur actually, if I, if I can explain to you, when Fleur put the, I don't know if you noticed this, so just say this is the two ends, we're here. Instead of just going like this to put the ends together, Fleur went, does that make sense? Back then there why did you do that okay if I show you on a, on a normal jump ring okay when you're opening and closing jump rings jump rings have a memory okay, me metal has a memory mm -hmm. um, you want these yes please <laughs> thank you so it has a memory if you go to can you see that okay yeah he's coming to yeah. you there he is yeah. if you go to the closure to the point mm -hmm. Can't really see. I picked the wrong colour with the yeah, black. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. yeah, you got it there. Yeah, you can see that that's not closed very well. No. Okay. It well, bounced back. It bounced back. So that's it what I mean by having a memory. Yeah. So as you when you when you first start making jump rings, when you coil it, you coil it, and then if you cut it straight away, you get a lot of what they call bounce back on on a on a coil. So the the memory of the metal will come back. What you need to do is when you're coiling your jump rings is to leave the coils to settle. They will still bounce back, but not as much. And these are really good jump rings because they've not bounced back that much. So to get a perfect closure, you have to go past and break the memory mm -hmm. and then come back. Ah, oh, you're breaking the memory. And then you'll get, and you can give it a little bit of a wiggle and then you'll get them. And then they're flush. And perfect. then they'll go flush. Now when you're closing jump rings, sometimes you can hear a click, sometimes you can't. Yeah, I can hear it when you're yeah. using it. Okay, so that's now. In position. In position. It's in position from that angle, but make sure you look at it from both angles because I'm a bit of a perfectionist. <laughs> so sometimes what you can see, sometimes it's not in, le in, in, in line as well. So you have to just look at it from that angle, and I sometimes run my finger across the top mm -hmm. of it as well. Okay. It can make the piece sometimes a little bit longer to make, but it doesn't really matter. It's worth it. If you've yeah, got to put the time into it, it yeah. put all of the time in. Yeah, if you've, got, if you've got one little ring closure that doesn't look right, it spoils a piece. Well, mm -hmm. I can always see it. Mm -hmm. Not many people would ever notice it. That's because it, you've made but it. But I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it, she would. <laughs> okay, so that's how we, I always go forwards and then back. So you go past the closure point and then back again and you break that, me that metal memory and it will then go flush. Okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Right, so we've done one ring on the top and like we were saying, it's, it doesn't look like, the, doesn't look like the, the weave as it is in the necklace at the moment. That's because it's not got enough rings on it to be stable. So we've done the top, so we now to flip it over and again, this is why we've got the long pieces of wire, so as you can see, it goes through my hand and it's easier to hold. But we can still see our pattern, we can still see our V, and we can still see our two vertical rings. So we're going to go through the red, and I know I keep repeating myself, but if you do the two colours, it, it becomes easy. And then horizontal, and then catch the two loose rings, and then close. Okay, so now if I start to hold that up a little bit, if you can 
see it's starting the first see the first two rings don't look like the weave yeah, yeah. But the second two rings start to look like the weave mm -hmm. so now what we have to do is put our vertical pair on that's exactly what you said it won't look yeah. correct at first at first and you and a lot of people and I've done it I've started weaves and gone it doesn't look like it does in the book or it doesn't look like it does on YouTube what have I done wrong and it's because I've not it. given it enough time to, to carry on you've got to stick with things stick with it yeah. that's it it's good for your patience and I don't have much and I can do it <laughs> well I bet you've got more than you think <laughs> <laughs> so then we're going to put our vertical rings on okay and then again, we can see the pattern. So we go with our horizontal blue ring. Okay. We go along the top. Sorry. Slippy. Along the top. And then pick up. Now, some common mistakes that people do is that they'll pick up that ring and then they'll go back through pick up the which V. One? They'll pick up the two yeah. horizontal rings and then they'll pick up this ring as well. The V ring. The V ring. So they'll pick this ring up as well. And that's when it goes into a complete knot. So that, and then people go, I can't understand where I've gone wrong with it. It doesn't, it hasn't followed the pattern. Because they picked up one too many. Yeah. Okay. So then we close that ring and then if I hold it up, if I was to go for a cup of tea, say, and leave it, and then forget where I was, I can see where my next ring's going to be because I haven't got a complete got V on mm -hmm. the other side. So as long as you remember to flip it over. Now, that works very easily for me. Yeah. Um, putting the wire on the end to know where I am. Yeah. Knowing what I'm looking for from a side mm -hmm. view as well as from the whole piece yeah. itself. Yeah. So there are quite a few things to consider. Uh -huh. But by doing this in separate colours, it becomes much simpler. Yeah, and if you've got this kit, you will find this weave easy. And it'll be an easy weave that you've struggled with in the past. Yeah. Because you've tried to do it in the same colour. And when you pick it up in the same colour and you can't see your Vs, you can't see where the, the other ring's supposed to be in the two colours, if you do this necklace once, twice, and then you can do the same colour. And then okay. you'll know, because it's a pattern, and it gets your brain and your hands into the rhythm of the pattern. And then it's, it's in your head, and you can or watch this back on YouTube, and you just refresh your memory. But it's a beautiful, fluid um, weave. And it's very, I, I think it's a, quite a manly weave or a feminine weave. Mm. And again, in the different kinds of rings, in the square wire ring and in the, in the round rings, the round profile rings, it looks beautiful in either either way. I just love it. Like it's one I, of my favourite weaves. I love weaves. it too. And I've got to say, I know this sounds crazy, but it's really good to exercise your brain with yeah. patterns. Yeah, it is. And they say that. Yeah. And actually Mia does this. She mm. loves patterns and, yeah. and, and, and code scrambling, which yeah. I don't understand. Yeah. But she always says patterns are important, mm. I mean, because they help you decode. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, my, they are good yeah, for the brain, aren't they? Are. they? I mean, I don't do random. I can't, I, I struggle with random. I do not struggle with random. <laughs> I am an ambassador of random. Uh, I would like to be more Cody. Yeah. I would like to be more organised. We no, got I'm, loads of text messages okay. for you as well, Flair. Um, Nicholas says, I'm still learning with jewellery making, but I'd like to know what the board is that the creators work on. And can you get one on Jewelry Maker? Yep. Well, yes, you can. This board here is a macrame mat. And on here. the website, uh, macrame, can I just spell macrame? You uh, oh, you've got one there. Thanks, lovely. Uh, that's what they look like. And we just work on that because it's easy to show you and because you've got all the little slits. But these jewelry making boards here, this is called a necklace board. And the reason these are good is because you've got all the measurements down the side and all the wells. Now, they're, I think, two, not two pounds something on. They're about one ninety-five, two pounds, and they're on our website. Uh, I've got about twenty of those. Yeah. I reckon I got loads. You can stack them up as well. So if you didn't want to carry, if you got lost a little bit or lost your inspiration with something, you can start a new one. You don't have to put all this away. You can leave it out on your board, put the next board on top, and they stack beautifully. I like it when we can do that. Pretend well, that didn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> Come back later. Uh, now we've got another message as well. Uh, Barbara in Dorset. Hiya, Barbara. Hi, girls. Great show and demo. What size are the new square rings did Fleur use for the Persian bracelet? From Barbara. For the full Persian necklace there, I've used the largest ones. Were they 13? 13.5? 13.5. Yep. Outer, wasn't it? 
Was it inner? Yeah, outer. But you will still be able to, with the largest and the medium size, you'll be able to do able the to full do Persian it. with. I just use the medium size rings on the inverted round mail on the big drop necklace. That's why I, um, on the on the long the long necklace there. Yeah, that, yeah. The one that's in the memory wire, that's an, called an inverted round mail. Oh, I didn't even see that that was in the memory wire. This here? Yeah, that's the memory wire. Oh, that's not the same weave as this no, one? No, that's the... Uh, oh, you I take see. it off the stand. Again, it's, it's got the... In the two colours, it you it's more to, tuby, yes, or, it's or a tube. triangulary kind yeah. of. And that's the one when I made the headpiece. You can make that into a. It is a tube, so you can put leather through it. You can make it into a, a bracelet. You can put memory wire through it, or you can just leave it as it as it is. It holds its shape. Perfect. Perfect. She's amazing. Lady uh, Sheila says, or is it Shayla says? Uh, Hi, girls, loving the fringes. We're like the, oh, I was going to say, oh, we're like the bangs. Dare I say it, very sexy. But they won't read this one out. Well, they did. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. Are we looking, we're looking a bit, I thought we were like the bangles for the last two with our, with our bangs. Uh, we're forming a new band. It's called the Fringe. Fringes. Chain mailers. That's it. Fringe sisters. The Fringe sisters. <laughs> This can only go one way, yeah. jewellery makers, let's continue. <laughs> so um, we've, we've started, we've done all of this. If there's any more questions, please come through and ask now. Now, I've got a quick yeah. other bundle, so if there's yeah. anything else you would like to cover, if you want to get that ready, and I will um, and I will give this lovely bundle here. Wasn't that really clear? I love it. Do I get all of this then, do I? Hey, up. That's just the box, OK. I didn't know the hammer come in a box, getting a bit posh, isn't it? Now, I've got for you Chainmail Edition 1, done by the wonderful Debbie Bolford, with eight sections. The introduction to Chainmail, jump rings, the two-in-one, the gemstone bracelet, the box weave, the Byzantine, the feasible knot, and the wire gauge information for you. Feasible knot, did I say that right? Yep, feasible, feasible knot. Yep. It's feasible. Uh, now you have got a whole hour on that tutorial DVD and then I'm going to give you edition two which covers lots of different projects. Uh, I've got a little clippity doodah for you for that one. Oh look at Carol. Is this Carol pre-parent? And I've got this very tool that they were using just there um, coming up for you a little bit later. But I've also got this rather curious thing. It's like a little rasp. Do we need one of these? Yeah, if you're cutting your own gemstones, sometimes you can get what they call a burr on the A gemstone or a...? Uh, on, on your, sorry, jump rings. Jump gemstone. rings, right. Put your own gemstone. Um, yeah, if you cut your own gems... Um, I said it again. Jump, jump rings. rings. <laughs> jump rings. Jump ring. Get it right. You can get a burr on it. So as you've cut down, sometimes a little bit of the metal will fracture down into oh, a point. yeah, yeah. And it can be scratchy. So if you have a file like that, you can actually file that away as you cut them. Um, just be careful with your coloured jump rings that you don't file too much because you'll take it down to the base metal. So you've got, these are great to have in your collection to yeah. get rid of the scratchity scratchities. Yeah. That's the technical yeah. term That's in my technical mind. That's the technical term. Now I'm also going to give you nylon uh, coated pliers. Nylon jaw pliers are amazing because if you're using coloured wire or coloured jump rings and you don't want to tarnish them, then this is the plier to use. I think these are the ones where the little rubber stoppers come off as well. Rubber, did I say it like that, did I? Rubber stoppers. And you're also getting your ball pin hammer. Now, this ball pin hammer's got a lovely weight to it. I haven't actually got this one yet. You've got the amazing feature at the back which gives you that doming tool. And you've got a nice, nice flat hammered piece there, hammer head there. So, the two CD, CDs, DVDs. My kids don't even know what CDs are now. It's ridiculous. This is not a download. It ain't happening. Yeah. Now, you have got the two DVDs. You have got the rasping tool. Little rasper. Then you have got your nylon pliers there as well. I do need a third arm. RSG C30, is it, what was the price? 24.75 says, to 11.95, this is great value for the hammer alone. Now yeah. this hammer, imagine posting that, you took that to your post office. Oh, it'd be a lot They'd be money. like, yeah. that's £9 postage, yeah. you'd be like, seriously? <laughs> um, but we're not gonna charge that to you because you're just paying one PMP all day long. And you can't have enough things like this, Fleur. Hammers no. are great for mm. texturizing your, your metal, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, and you could 
if you were careful, texturize your jump rings. As long as you oh, didn't yeah. hammer them out of shape, you could, if you just lightly tap them, they would make that nice, you could make a nice um, hammered effect on, on some, that you just had one, say, as a feature on a pendant. You could just lightly tap it and make some nice little indents on it. Perfect. Yeah, I've got a co quite a few hammers and I don't do wire work. <laughs> ah, I like tools. Do you not do wire work? But you do like your tools for, yeah. for things like this, for your, for your uh, chainmail pieces. It's always like great to, to texturise. Yeah. We all do, we're I women. Just, just like to we just own like them. things. We're like Ariel yeah. from uh, from Mermaid. Right. Yeah. We just want a cave full of things, thingamajigs. Uh, 11.95 RSGC30 is your item code. 0800 644 is the number to be dialing. Uh, now, like I said to you, I was up all night with a sick child that was a friend. I'm feeling a bit wavy, I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm just going <laughs> to disappear, it's because I've caught something. <laughs> I feel all right, but you know when you're just like, hmm. <laughs> maybe it's some, I was up all night, I don't That's know. It, I'm just sleep. warning you, maybe don't sleep. breathe near me, I don't want okay. to make you ill. Don't want it, not with three kids. I'm not a very sickly sick person. No. Just so you know, it might just, you know, happen. Oh, no. <laughs> I won't do that. I feel sick. Uh, now, you were going to show us something. Yeah, if I've got time, I'm just going to quickly show you how to do the centre part of that necklace. Oh, yes. It's, it's you've got very... loads of time. You've got yeah. 11 whole minutes. That's fabulous. OK, like I say, I don't do wire work, but I can do that. <laughs> um, what I did is I took a length of wire, and it's about half a metre, and I always take a little bit more than what I need because of um, I can't add in as well as some of the top wire work people. So what I need to do is we start off and we just make a small wrap loop on the end of the wire. Now because the jump rings that we're using have got the square profile on them, they need a bigger hole to go through. So don't do your wrap loop on the end of your wire because it won't go through the jump ring when you add it to the necklace. So I went right down to the very bottom and I just made a, a wrapped loop. Now the wraps are on show so if you can get them quite neat. And I always find when I'm doing wire work, well, when I'm trying to do wire work, should I say, um, if I have a longer tail to work with, it bends easier. It works easier for me. And then we just snip that off, and I've got my flush cutters, but if you haven't got them, your side cutters are absolutely fine. And then what I did to make the pattern is, like you, you know when you were a child at school and you used to draw odd shapes and then colour in the bits to yes, make a... Yes, colour the in between yeah, colour the in between yeah. bits. That's all I did. So I just did a random shape. So I started and I just bent. So I bent round and then I went this way and really just made a, as wide as you want. Sorry, they're in the way. Sorry, they're not very good with this wire. And I didn't... I didn't um, wrap it and lock it into place. I just literally carried on doing circles and squiggles because what I used then is I used the black gemstones with a 0.6 wire or a 0.4 wire. This is a one mil wire, by the way, um, to sew the gemstones in, and then I locked it in place with the 0.6 Ooh. wire. This is all freehand, then, this is it? It's all freehand, yeah. No tools. You can use a jig if you've got a jig. I like I, the way that you've done that quite. Uh, remind me, it was just one mil, wasn't just it? Just one mil wire, yeah, so it's really malleable, it's really easy to use. And I did it. I did it so I could save some of my jump rings as well, because I didn't want to use all 200 in one piece so I, I saved about 50 of them by doing this so you mm -hmm. can do this section as large or as small if you didn't want to do that um, the, the amount of jump rings that you've got is plenty to make your full necklace if you wanted to just do a full Persian a, a full full Persian necklace okay. around but I just wanted to save a few jump rings and try and have a go at some wire work so basically that's all you would carry on doing and then if I can pop that on the on there you can see and then what I did is like we do when we were a child and colouring in I just picked the larger areas and I'd use the larger rounds and I just took a piece of 0.4 uh, 0.6 so 0.6 to anchor 0.6 on 0.6 to anchor it on and then it goes with the design a little yeah. bit better doesn't it and then all I did is I, I added it to the already the loop that I already made so I just attached it on. And you'll do it a lot neater. My hands are boiling hot here. But I'll just show you for demonstration. And then popped a bead on. 
black gemstones are really difficult to see in the lights. And then I just basically went where the, where the pattern sort of like followed. So that one I think sits quite nicely in that hole there. And then I wired it, so I wired that one onto there. And then because it's the same colour wire, you can sort of wire it through. And I didn't, um, you don't need to anchor them on a lot. It's just a few, just one wrap round. Sorry. So if you just pull it on, pull it tight, and then that one's that one in place. And then you just pick where your next bit of wire goes. And if you find that this piece of wire is sticking up and it needs to be pulled back in place, you can sort of like anchor that onto there then, so you could go around that loop to give it a little bit more texture. Okay. And then add another gemstone. And I just did it really random like that. I didn't have any pattern and it really I really struggled with it because it is random, but I thought I'll stick with it and I'll carry on. And it made a really nice pattern in the end. But like I say, you could use the gold in there as well. I've got lots of gold uh, gold coins left from the pyrite or and the spinel left. So you could you could mix and match the gemstones as well. You don't have to use just the large uh, the nine mil agates. And that's how I completed that. And then I just did a wrap loop on the other end and attached it in the middle. I love it. I love that we. I, I love that that full Persian was a lot simpler than I mm. anticipated. Yeah. I love that I understand now that I don't put the two colours together and I look for the V yeah. and that bringing those two wires together makes yeah. all the difference at the yeah. beginning. So I'm so excited to see your designs. Don't forget that if you missed out on these jump rings because the kit has sold out, sold out within a couple of minutes before we even came over here. Um, then I am going to bring you another kit with the silver, silver and just silver, just silver, just silver and the big thick silver yeah. ones, um, and they are our last lot of all of the square jump rings. So you really need to be on that. We only have a hundred of those as well, so we do expect those to sell out too. Now, Philip, what are you up to? We're ready for them now. We're ready for the jump rings, sir. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. He was taking too long, is what he was doing. Now, these are the traditional jump rings. Mm -hmm. So actually, um, because so many people have asked about your bracelet, yep. we're giving the rose gold jump rings yep. so that you can actually complete that look mm -hmm. if you wanted to as well. And they're exactly the same size as what I used. They're the same size the same as what size. you used? Yep. Okay, great stuff. So we have got silver and gold and copper. So you could do it, do any variation. Now the silver are the smaller ones. Yep. You've used mainly yep. the bigger ones. Yep. So are they the are they seven mil? Let's have a look. What's the diameter oh, the of these? Uh, they are five and six mil and seven mil. Five, so six, the, and seven. It's the seven mils that you would need to do the full Persian in the bracelet. One thousand one hundred ninety one hundred and ninety jump rings. Wow. Together. How many of the gold and the um, of the gold and the rose gold have I got in the bigger gauge? Because that's what we need to make. How many do I need to make your bracelet? About a hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty. But don't forget, if you've not got as many, you can always add a, gem a gemstone to the end to Ooh. make it longer. Well, you've definitely got enough for that yeah. in here. Definitely, you've got more than hundred and fifty. How many of the larger diameters have I got, please, my love? Which would be what? 200 of the mm. seven mils. So that's yep. enough to complete yep. a bracelet, Plenty. yeah? You thought you've also got, you'd have some left over. And what I like to do is I like to do macrame and chainmail um, fusion bracelets. So I Ooh. will just do three inches of chainmail and then macrame. Use the rings. If I just show you on this how I would attach it. So I'd put a jump ring, uh, the macrame cord, through the two end rings. So in this case, the pink one and the and those uh, gold ones. And then I would just macrame off of that. So use that as your anchor point, and the macrame down around. And then you've got a, a lovely fusion bracelet. Love, I've never seen that macrame fusion. Yeah, ring. I love doing fusion jewelry like that. You've actually got two hundred of each of these. Oh, so that's enough plenty. for two bracelets. Yes, yeah, two bracelets, or you could even do one beautiful necklace. How much would you sell a, a bracelet like this for? My those full Persian bracelets I sell for um, about thirty-five pounds. So this is thirty-five pounds. You've got two bracelets worth just out of these jump rings. So that's seventy pounds to you. You should be thirty-three yeah. pounds today, which is already seeing you in a profit because you yep. don't need to add anything else. But you've also got two hundred of the five mil. Hundred ninety of the five mil rose golds yep. 
And what are these? What are these? Six mil, aren't they? Then the six mil, you've got two hundred of each. So all together, one thousand one hundred ninety jump rings. You have got so much value at thirty-three pounds. Exceptional value. But you know what? Even though you're going to make a clean profit out of that thirty-three pounds, if you do like Fleur just said. We're going to give you all of these jump rings for just £21.95. It's Profit City here for you. And if you are into chain mail, this is definitely a deal that you're going to be interested in. If you're not, it's okay because these are going to work for you in necklaces, in bracelets by adding charms. Now these are, are they on copper? They're on copper and they are all e-coated. I have got some sterling silver ones for you coming up. But just talk to me, Fleur, about value. Just talk to me about where else I would get jump rings from and how much yeah. I could pay. You, roughly, you can pay anything. Say, for instance, the, the rose gold plated ones there, the copper ones, seven mil. You would pay four, five pound for a hundred some, in some places. Really? Yeah. Some places you have to get them from America. So it's not only the fact that you, if you, when I have a design in my head, I want the stuff in three days time like I can get from here or yeah. three four days time I don't want to wait three four weeks for it forget to, it to come I've, over. I've been put off the idea that's by it. then so I'm waiting too long that you've waited too long and you get them and you go what was I going to do with those and we're so <laughs> impatient these yeah. days because everything's so instant yeah, so instant and then you would go if you were thinking right, I can't I can't wait I'm going to go to that big crafty store well expect to pay yeah. a lot more yeah a lot more oh, you wouldn't bags of 20 25 something like that isn't it and the quality they're e-coated they're saw cut mm -hmm. it makes a difference yeah. Fleur, doesn't it and the colors I think I said on Monday the colors match perfectly with the wire and the findings that we do and it makes well. a difference and if you haven't got the same color finding or earring finding for your jump ring it can ruin a piece for me. Yes, I, it does. I, it just Absolutely. looks different. It's not consistent no. at all. So you have got such super value. Now, I am seeing so many names. I'm seeing so many multipliers. It's wonderful to have your company here uh, today at Jewelry Maker. £21.95. Now, like Fleur said, you will get two out of the uh, seven mil yep. jump rings, two yep. bracelets. Uh, you could get how many bracelets out of these? Because there's 200 of yep. these ones as so well. So those ones you would do Byzantine with. That, that size is perfect for Byzantine or the European 4-in-1, which is the... I did a demonstration with the shoe. I remember. Yep, so that was the European... Got those shoes. One. Yeah. <laughs> so you could do that and a section of European foreign because it's more of an open weave, it's not we call them ring hungry. So it's not ring hungry. It's not ring hungry. The full Persian is quite a ring hungry because it takes four rings to do a very small section. But then you get the design at but the end. But you get the design at the end of it. Whereas if you take something like the um the one on the end there, the inverted round mail that's not very ring hung hungry at all oh, that, is it not? no because each ring makes this distance oh, of the diameter of the jump ring perfect it's sold out it's sold out it's gone mm. he's screaming at me it's gone it's gone tell everyone i'm sorry it's gone i'm sorry now there's a time and a place for sterling silver fair it's the special occasion yeah. the special birthday uh, now i'm going to give everybody uh, sterling silver with a nine carat gold overlay but also sterling silver with a rose gold overlay. I'm gonna have to mix these up I'm afraid when I pour them out. How many of each do I get please and what's the diameter? 50 of each, so 100 jump ring closed in the rose gold, open in the gold. There's seven mil, so I've got a hundred. Mm -hmm. Am I thinking earrings or could I do a two in one with this? Yeah, no, you could do a European four in one because oh, with that you use the closed jump rings. So you could do, they're this side one. So as you put and I've got enough here through, to do it. You've got enough to do. You would be able to do a, um, quite a large section and then you could put two beautiful gemstones on the end to make the bracelet length up. Um, you could do it as a section of um, a necklace, a pendant. So just a long drop of a pendant, just of European four in one. Just exactly the same. You, you could see that, look. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want to snip the closed ones because they are so beautifully closed. And they're so well closed. Yeah, yeah you try don't and want keep to, them yeah. if you can. So there is a lot of there is there is a lot of weaves where you will use just a, a closed jump ring. So you won't have to snip them. There's lots of weaves there. And if everybody if anybody wants to know, I can have a look and pop them on my Facebook page or pop them on the Jewelry Maker Facebook page so that we can, you know, you can see which ring which weaves work best with those ones. But they're a beautiful size. 
How much would you add on to the price tag? So let's say we've done that bracelet. We put two gemstones on the end. Uh, it's a fully solid sterling silver bracelet with genuine gemstones. Yeah. Is it going to affect the price? Is it going to be more than thirty-five pounds? A lot more. Over double. Over double. Yeah. Yeah. So because you're it's so precious. Towards eighty pounds yeah. for this. Yeah. For that and, that, and you do sell these, so that is yep. absolutely your price yep. tag. And I'd use, I mean, you've got your clasp to pay for as well, and I'd put a beautiful silver, um, rose gold or yellow gold plated mm -hmm. um, sterling silver toggle clasp on that. Yes. Maybe the ones that we used to do with the gemstones set into them. Oh, so I it love makes those. The really, tongue and groove ones, yeah. I love yeah. those. So it makes it a really special piece. But yeah, that would be between 70 and 80 pounds on my, on my website. So let's see if this is going to be a profit maker then for you because we're going to take the price tag down. You've got 100 jump rings in total. They are all 7 millimetres, so perfect for the weave that we were talking about just now. And at 19.95, you have got super value. Potentially, this could you could sell it for £80 minus the price of the toggle class, minus the 19.95. You're looking at about £50 profit yeah. on one piece. Yeah. So here we are with a great value deal with solid sterling silver. I just think this is such super duper value for you. XHGC73 is your item code. Please don't hesitate in checking out baskets. We are selling out of things left, right, and center. I have got another kit for you if you missed out on the square jump rings. They are coming up for you in the next kit. Now, the last kit sold out within three minutes. Three minutes. If you don't want to miss out, or if you want to add it to your order today, you've already got the first kit. Then you have to be on the ball. It's coming up for you bang on three o'clock. 19.95 for this one, solid sterling silver. Now remember, you do get a 30-day money-back guarantee, but I can't guarantee second chances on the uh, square jump rings because once they are gone, they are gone. Now you are going to have to be quick with these. Over 30 of these have been allocated already. I've got Hazel, uh, Jury Maker in Greater London, with two in that your basket, but not checked out. Sandra, Susan, Maury, Mary, uh, you haven't checked your baskets out, which means you could miss out on this deal. We've had such a super first half of the show, and I know it's going to continue uh, just along those lines. I know you're going to love the second kit, so please don't go anywhere. Stay shopping with us here at Jury Maker. Perhaps you'd like to come in on our chainmail workshop. If so, I'm going to give you the details, and Fleur and I will be back. Out after this. Join jewellery maker and specialist guest designer Debbie Bulford for a fun and relaxing day discovering the addictive appeal of chain mail. This workshop is ideal for beginners and will introduce the fundamentals of this art form. You will be guided through a range of beginner's weaves and learn how to create your own Byzantine bracelet and earring set. The full course includes a pack of 200 jump rings, a toggle clasp, a pair of shepherd hook earrings, the chainmail tutorial DVD, use of all relevant tools, a buffet star lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and a chance to meet the presenters, and take a visit to our gem museum. All this for just $74.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker, bringing out the designer in you. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. This week, Jewelry Maker has an exclusive offer for all our customers. Our pick of the week is this fantastic pearl bundle. Jam-packed with precious white and mulberry-cultured pearls, beautiful keshi pearls, two strands of clear quartz and silver-coloured pearl threading material. All of this for just 49 dollars 
To get your hands on this amazing offer, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Get involved with Jewelry Maker this Halloween by entering our spooktacular competition. We want you to send in pictures of your wirework pumpkin that has been inspired by guest designer Alison Tarry. Send your entries by October 30th to thehub at jewelrymaker.com. Entries will be shown on the Designer Inspiration Show on the 31st of October. <laughs> These are amazing. These are amazing. These are amazing. Look at this. Have you seen these before, Fleur? Solid sterling silver square. I don't know what they are. I don't know what to call them. Find, they are findings. Um, look at this. I, do, I guess they would be a great middle to, to break up two mm. pieces of chain mail, but they're the square ones, look. So they would go really nicely in the middle and then flow two pieces of gel. I, I don't know, what would you use this for? Yeah, definitely like that. And then have it as a charm. If you've bought those silver charms, hang the silver charm off the middle of it. So it looks like a very well-known Oh, I know what you're saying. Charm Earrings carrier. as well. Yeah. We're not doing these now, but I just saw them and I was like, ooh, when can we do these, Philip? 10 minutes, he said, 10 minutes. Oh, can I also show you these? Now, I said just said to Phil, these have got to be brand new. I've never seen them. They're amazing. Flo, you're going to go crazy for these. You ready? Look at this. Can you see the edges of them? Let me take them. Look at the edges. They are so cool. I love them. Look at, the, look at that colour. The camera doesn't do them justice enough. Look, look, there you go. Look. Whoa. Wow. Bang. Ga -ding -ding. Aren't they amazing? I love them. If you love those, and you, it's the edges. See, there's a sparkle mm. of them. Beautiful, so they are. They have got an edge to them. Edgy. Now. <laughs> now, tell me what I've got here, my lovely Philip. You have got silver, rose gold, and gold eye pins. How many do I have? And what? Are... You've got a hundred of each, and they are on copper, yeah? So you've got 300 eye pins which could make the eye links for your rosary chains. They are 400 millimetres. 400 or 40? 40, you mean? Yeah, that not 400, Philip. Get it right. Good job I'm listening to you, isn't it? With a three millimetre eye. And you've got the 400, 400 mil. I've told you I've stopped saying mil, it's millimetre. I've stopped saying it because I'm annoying myself by saying mil instead of millimetre. Because mil is fluid, isn't it? Yep. And I say it all the time. And I'm blaming you lot in the gallery for turning me. Turning me into fluid. Now. Have a look. It's millimetre, not mil. So you have got the rose gold and the classic gold. And you've got the silver there as well. Oh, are we not doing this now? Well, we are, because that's what I thought we were doing. So, <laughs> fine, let's do it now, he's saying. Oh, I'm doing it. That's what I thought we were doing, Philip. So you have got all of these. Absolutely hundreds of them. Now, it's findings like this that are your bones. Isn't it? Your gemstones are the muscles of the piece. These are your bones. These are the, the pieces that are going to link your bits together. These are the pieces that are going to add hinges. These are the pieces that are going to um, be there to accommodate your gemstones. You can't do a lot without the right findings. Like we were just saying about jump rings. If you don't have the right ones, you can't complete the finished piece. If you've just started jewellery making, you need these kinds of elements to link other elements of jewellery together. And you don't, have to, it, you don't have to be super advanced. These are a very basic finding, but a basic finding that you need nonetheless. And at 12.85 for 300 in total, you're getting super value, but we're not giving you that price tag. We're going to take it down. WTGC23 to 
eight pounds and 95 pence for you. Incredible, incredible value. We don't have loads of these, so please be as quick as you can. WTGC 23, eight pounds, 95 pence. You can use your debit card or your credit card if you're shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. 0800 6 655 is a free phone number if you are dialing from a UK line. If you're shopping online, check out your baskets. If you want to know how, it's all the w's.jewelrymaker.com. Uh, don't forget, it's that 1 PMP. So if you've ordered with us already today, you're not going to have to pay on top of that. It's 2 95 and you only pay it once. We take debit cards, we take credit cards, and we give you what we feel is the superest value. Superest? Word or not word? Well, it can be a word, just like a food can be the roast dinner wrap. I think there's something in this roast dinner wrap. I actually can feel the commercial coming on now, can you? Mm -hmm. Have you heard about the roast dinner wrap? I did. Yeah. yeah. I think we could take this to the Bannantine, oh Dunco. It doesn't go against this fitness club thing. <laughs> do you know what goes against fitness club things? When you go to the swimming pool and they give you chips afterwards. But do you know what the worst thing is? That's the thing you'd crave after swimming. What is that? With loads of vinegar? Yeah. You're starving. I have to have vinegar. What is that? Is it something to do with the chlorine that says you need vinegar in your brain? They are great. And they, I have to have salt, pepper, vinegar. Pepper? Oh, salt and pepper mm. and vinegar all together. Don't knock it till you tried it, but it's got to be the pepper out of those sachets. Try it tonight, good girl. 8.95, this is such great value. I haven't had vinegar on chips for ages. Oh, like little chips, not, not, I mean, I love loads of salt on everything mm. as well. Can't eat it, if it's not salted, yeah. don't want it. Don't, get, don't even look at me with a cucumber if you haven't got some salt. <laughs> or tomatoes, and salad in general. Mm. No, you're not a salt eater? Not on salad, no. Really? No. I've got to have a squeeze of lemon and salt. No, I don't do lemon either. Don't you, but it's supposed to. Do you know why I have? Do you know? Yeah, it's like it's like a tequila salad, not a tequila slammer. <laughs> um, the reason I have lemon is because if you eat lemons, apparently, the acid in the lemon will attack the fat in your body. I'll eat lemons. I'll That's lemon why lemon. I eat them. <laughs> and now when I put them on everything, they taste so good with salt. <laughs> lemon, salt, salad. Eat it. Avocado. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Avocado. Bit of radish. Spring onions. The usuals. 8.95. Why did what? What's he got me a, um, a joke here? Why did a Mexican push his wife off a cliff? <laughs> Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> the thing about Phillies, he's always like, what was that funny joke you told me earlier? Which one was it? It was that we were upstairs. He just said something. It was just funny. You're just funny, Phil. We were talking about when Chloe goes into labour. What was that? said something funny. I can't remember. I've been talking Chloe through how to have a baby nicely. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 8 95 My worst thing about having a child when I first had Mia was the other mothers crying in the room. Mm. And at one point, I was like 21 and I was thinking, they're going to have to shut up. Yeah. They're going to have to stop this. And I said to the woman next to me, please pull yourself together. <laughs> she looked at me and went, I just didn't get it. I was like, stop crying. I'm terrible, aren't I? Am I horrible? No, people don't give birth together. together. They wheel you up into the same place, and then you're all there. And suddenly you're there with these women, and you've all been through the same thing. They all cried. I was just like, there you go. Massive, great, big baby. She was 10 pounds, my daughter. And she looked like this. <laughs> And I remember looking at her thinking, it's not what I pictured, <laughs> but we'll go for it anyway. <laughs> she, was, she was very fat until she was three. Now, I didn't mind. I thought she was cute. She had little rolls of fat for knees. She had six mm. knees. <laughs> and I used to have to separate them to clean in between them. <laughs> oh, I love it. All chubby. And I'd be like, ooh. And then my son was like a little bird. And I was like, ooh, when I had him. Oh, you need some meat on you. <laughs> oh, little hatchling. It's probably just normal. No. Oh, these ones. OK, all right, darling. All right, my love, sorry. Well, I've had a funny night, haven't I, you see? What did you call this again? Slabby-dabby-docious. 
Let's see. Let's see what you've got. Now, these have been really popular, these calcedony slabs. I always think they look like piano keys. They want to make, they make me want to play chopsticks. What do you do with these, Chloe? Have you ever used them? Yeah, I did. I used them and I put a pearl in between each one, but I had some, um, a different gemstone. It was quite a long time ago. Um, I can't remember what, I think they were, like the blue lace agate, something like that they were. And I put a pearl in between each one and it looked, Ooh. made like a big statement necklace, but with just threading them on. Made a so really you could nice go really simple with yeah. these. Yeah. Because I was thinking right there for wire wrapping, one of these wire wrapping to a ring, wire wrap it just one pendant. But actually, you can give it. You just don't even have to no. make it that complex, yeah. do you? Don't think about it sometimes, and just. I think if you don't like it, you can always take it apart and do something really complex with it. I, I think that's the joy of genuine gemstones. Mm. I mean, I love all crafts. Some crafts, once you've gone wrong, you've gone wrong. Yeah. When you're sticking or painting or baking once you've added that ingredient there's no going back mm. with jewelry making you can reverse everything yeah you can take it all apart and you can use it all again perfect now have the well you said actually you're wrong phil just went apart from polymer clay no because you can use polymer clay again you can use all the little scraps you just put on you actually just add on top of it and put it back in the oven you can keep baking it can't you yeah. So you, so you can actually keep going with polymer clay. You can think, no, that didn't work, but I'm just going to add this and then I'll put it back in and see what happens. So you can fiddle about with that, yeah. Now, I've got, I've got this lovely, like, mahogany tiger's eye here. Can you see that colour? Isn't it lovely? And then you've got this beautiful blue chalcedony. And then you've got... Jasper. You've got your jasper there as well. And those are, can you give me the diameters? No, he can't. He's going to. So you've got all, uh, what I want you to do is look at these because they've got all this sort of psychedelic pattern on them. Can you see that? Look at these. Millimeters, not mils. They're not any mils because they're not fluids. They're at it again, they're just, they're driving me mad today, these boys. So look, look at this, you've got an array of colour. Do you know what I would do? I'm just looking at these actually together. I wouldn't put those blue with these two. I'm going to separate them. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. The blue I'd leave by themselves. That's a lovely sky blue, isn't it? Mm. These are very, very autumnal together though. With that orange that we had in the first hour. Oh, which one? The, the three strands. Ones. Yeah, the three strands. Yeah. yeah. Either one, uh, any one of those strands with that. It's beautiful. Seven by six to seventeen by seven on the jasper. The tiger's eye. Eight by six to thirty by eight. So they go really large. And then these are longer, aren't they? Thirty-two by eight to eleven by six. So you've got absolutely loads of variation. WGC82 is your item code 1995 under 20 pounds for three gemstones. So how much are they normally each? 8.95 each. They're normally 8.95. I love the blue cow Sydney because it's it gives you such a it is such a lovely blue, isn't it? It's is such a sky blue. This gorgeous trio is absolutely flying out. No extra PMP and like Fleur said, just pop a pearl in between them. Now. Yes, can we do this one now, please? Thank you. Well, I can tell you something. I've been here a while. I've been around the jewellery maker block. Well, never have I seen anything like this. I'm going to be asking Fleur her full opinion on these. I want to show, look at that edging. It's like a peacock. That's why I love them. Mm. It is like a peacock. Do you remember when I put that, when a lady sent me in that amazing peacock watch and I wore it on holiday? That's what it's reminding me of. I've got the most amazing watch. Look at that, look at that. They've only been on the night show. Look at this. Oh, I love them. They're so different to anything we've ever had. Look at that. Now, what would you do with these, though? They are very, look, I'm, I love these hair make pieces. Cufflinks. Cufflinks. Big, do the two on the end, just one. Well, um, these little ones here. Or even the bigger ones, doesn't matter. But just a ball head pin through the middle, do a wrap loop on the back and then add the T-bar of a toggle clasp or a, a round gemstone to stop it coming back through your shirt cuff. 
I think these are amazing. I would put these in watch style bracelets, but yeah. I want them to move actually. Do you know what these would be good in? Dream catchers. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be nice as dream catchers. I think if you were doing like a really intricate piece of jewellery, something full of wire, what kind of wire? Maybe, actually I don't think it matters. Could be gold, could be silver, could use that dark blue. You could use, uh, it's that, that's what we love. Look at that. Imagine putting this with Labradorite and Moonstone mm. and it would just be like being at Niagara Falls, there would be that many rainbows. Yeah, you could just put a piece of cord through one and have it just as like a surface style necklace. So you just have one yes. that it stands out on, the, on its edge, but just have it on a piece of cord and macrame round up to it and just have that single one and it'd be beautiful, absolutely stunning. Sometimes the kids collect things that they think are special. This yeah. is one of those. Yeah. At Dave in Essex, Jenny's eccentricity is rubbing off on my wife. She thinks the Chalcedony slabs would look good as a mosaic tiles on the kitchen wall. Yeah. I say that she's not eccentric. I say that she's a genius, David Essex. David Essex. <laughs> it was only a winter's tale. Is that David Essex? Yeah. Yeah, that is, isn't it? Yeah. 9.95 for these. They're amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the strand. One, two, three, four. Yes, I can count. Uh, seven on the strand. Well, you have to do everything twice with me because I never quite know. OZR. These are like something from Oz, aren't they, actually? OZR. I wonder, I'm just going to look at that for colour. Isn't it gorgeous? They're very ball, aren't they? Ball gown. They, I would use these uh, to sew into things as well. They're not, that'd be a nice button, actually, on a cardi. That big one. Then what would you do with yours? Would you set it with polymer clay? Would you put it in resin? I mean, they're so, they're so different. Please get these if you if you want to challenge yourself because they are so different to anything else we've got in our collections. Very busy for these on the phone lines. Please make sure you are taking um, you are checking out your baskets. Now these graduate from 18 to 24 millimeters on a 10 centimeter strand. These are under 10 pounds. Super value and try something different. We only live once or YOLO, as my daughter says. And it is true, you do only live once. That's why I try very hard not to be miserable sometimes. Because there's room for that when we've finished, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, plenty of time. There ain't no room for it now. I'm doing this thing, I've did, my idea now is to do as many wonderful things so that when I can't get out anymore, when I'm old, or maybe, I don't know, it could be nearer than that, I can sit and think about all the wonderful things I did, otherwise I'm gonna get really bored. Mm. So that's what's gonna happen. So let's do it. Let's make memories. 9.95 OZR users. I always like to give you a philosophical thought for the day. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, Jen and me, Kyle. Now. <laughs> now. Oh, can we do the connectors, can we? Good. I'm rather excited about these, Philip. I am not going to lie. I feel all right now. I think maybe I was paranoid about feeling sick. It's gone. Well, I keep, well, yeah. Once there's a bug loom in, though, you keep thinking. No, I'm not a hypochondriac at all. This is the thing. And I never get ill. What did I say that for? When was the last time you knew I had a sick day? Never. I actually came in when I was sick and they sent me home. Remember? No. You weren't here, Phil, so don't lie. <laughs> it was what? Ed, yeah. Well, he's a bloke. Uh, no. <laughs> so we were talking and actually... Fleur, these all go together really. Jump ring in between each one of these. You'd actually make a nice bracelet. Mm -hmm. You get loads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're solid sterling silver. Is this a double trouble deal, is it? Because normally you get them. When did these launch then? I've never seen them. Stop. They're brand new. Stop. They're brand new. You need them. You've got to have them. If you bought these square rings, they're going to go beautifully with that. Yeah. Oh, they're perfect. But they're solid sterling silver. These are going to sell out. I love them. Are you going to bring the price straight in? I said that these might sell out. I'm going to have to. You've got to be quick if you want them. We've got so many gorgeous things for you today. Six ninety-five. These are sterling silver and you get 10 of them. Oh, what a deal. And by the way, they've got the 925 mark on them because customers will look for that, won't they? Can you see it there, the 925? And these are great for earrings, these are great. Did you see how I put them all up together? Because you get 10. You could make a, actually you could make two bracelets and just put it at the top. 
like a little centipede yes but great in earring i mean yeah. flo these are wonderful finders we don't see them often We've only got 22 of these left. You're going to have to be very, very quick. Brand spanking new, only put together in today's show. We've never seen them before. Another one of Hannah's tasters. She's not giving us the whole block of cheese, just tasters. See if you like them. And I like them. Six ninety-five, great deal, eh? Well, if you've got the gold and rose gold, sterling silver jump rings, gold. if you put the gold, um, the, the yellow gold ones that are cut, you could link those together and you've got a sterling silver and nine carat gold overlay two-tone bracelet which is all in everywhere that's why they're sold out i think yeah gone don't forget the kit's coming up and it has got more of those square the only last lot of the square jump rings is that right philip that's it once they've gone that's it then they're they're done they're gone and Hannah's not here to order more of them at the moment. She's, where is she, swanning off somewhere? She's working for you. She's getting more gorgeous things. Where is she in the Maldives? She's not in the Maldives. They're in India. No. I'm going to give you two wonderful colours together. They are so, 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 so vintage. Look at these. Beautiful. Classic, elegant. Look at these colours. Very classic. You've got that organic look, Fleur, haven't you? They are. And um, you can't fail but make beautiful jewellery with classic pearls like that. Even if you just knotted in between each one and put um, a little clasp on the end, it's everybody wears pearls. I don't know anybody that doesn't. It used to be that older people wore pearls, but now all age ranges are, are wearing pearls. Absolutely everybody. And with that beautiful orange. And, and this, this goes so well, but these are actually shell pearl. But they look very organic together, don't they? They've got the same sort of pearl essence on them as well. You wouldn't. Well, well you know that. Um, yeah, I think. I think when we put them together, actually, that helps because people. I think sometimes people don't understand shell pearl. They don't. They don't know what it is. Yeah. It's real pearl. What you do, you, you might open an oyster and it might be, that pearl's just not going to work in jewellery. It might be completely flat or it might be teeny tiny. So wasting all that work done by the oyster. We put all of these elements together and they get they crush, crush, crush them down, they press them back into one pearl. So actually, the makeup of these shell pearl are, are indeed mm. pearl, mm. which is why we get really great pearlescent. You're such a little rascal, 6 95 for the both. I mean, it's, you can't argue with that. No. Fleur, great value again, shopping on a budget and you want real pearls, then this is your deal. You've got such gorgeous classic colours together as well. They're going to work so beautifully. They're almost golden. Red. I mean, and imagine putting those with a little bit of green or imagine putting them with some holly on your Christmas table. Yeah. Go and pick some wild holly from the garden and put it just, it just wonderful, wouldn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Six ninety-five. Now you're gonna have to be quick with this again because we are running out of stock. Lots of you shopping with us here today at Jewelry Maker. Uh, don't forget one PMP. Pop everything in the basket, and it's two ninety-five for the entire basket. UPG C forty-eight is your item code. You've got the light peach, and then you have got that wonderful orangey. I, I wouldn't call it bright orange. I think it's a, a peachy orange or an apricot actually. Yeah, yeah it's like an apricot, apricot yeah. isn't it? Oh, I really like apricots. Mm. Six ninety-five. Just thought I'd throw that in there. Hillary's got two. Uh, Jury maker in County Down's got two. Cecilia, Margaret, uh, Sharon, Stephanie, Alison, Maureen in Cumbria. Jury maker in Essex. Jury maker in the Anti Hebrides. Amanda, Charlotte. Jury maker in Greater London Town. Brendan and Paula. You've got yours. Carolyn Powers. You've got yours. It's great to have you all on board. UPG C48 is your item code 0800-644-655 if you're dialing, if you're shopping online, it's jewelrymaker.com. Now we're gonna go to a very quick break and then we are coming back. Now you've gotta be quick because that kit is up straight after the break. We'll be seeing them in.
hold the jump ring firmly in your flat nose pliers. Then using your wire cutters, make a sharp snip. Remember when opening a jump ring, only open north to south. If for any reason you're not satisfied with your purchase, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. If you're new to jewellery making and want to learn all the essential techniques, then this is the perfect workshop for you. Join experienced resident designer Linda and learn how to get to grips with this addictive hobby. Learn how to create necklaces, earrings and bracelets with genuine gemstones. You will also have the opportunity to try a range of jewellery making mediums for beginners including wirework, macrame and kumihimo. The full course includes a wide selection of gemstones and findings, threading materials, 0.4 and 0.8 silver plated wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and our museum and a visit to our shop. All of this for just £59.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Start your new hobby today with Jewellery Maker. We here at Jewellery Maker love to hear your feedback. So working in conjunction with FIFO, a global ratings and reviews provider, when you purchase a product from JM, you will receive an email asking you to rate our service and our products. This helps us to bring you excellent customer service and ensure we're bringing you value for money and high quality goods. Have your say with Jewelry Maker FIFO reviews. Thank you to all of our customers who voted for Jewelry Maker to be nominated at the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards. We've been nominated for eight awards. Please continue to vote for us to win by going to the Make and Sell Jewelry Awards website and registering your vote. Voting closes on the 27th of November. Okay, you need to be on the phone lines right now if you don't want to miss out on the last of the square jump ring kits. Now, it is a serious matter if you want to be able to create that wonderful look in chainmail much easier, or if you just have to get hold of those brand new jump rings. I launched these with Debbie Bolford on Friday, all sold out. Hannah had a sample stock of these. She put together 100 kits in the one colorway and 100 in the other. And then that's it, they've gone. Then they won't, they're not in stock anymore. Hannah will have to reorder an entire stock. Now, based on the fact that you are loving these and that everything has sold out, Hannah will reorder them. But I don't know what the time scale is. I do know it took her months to get them in, but I'm not sure if we'll see these before Christmas. I can't make any promises, I'm so sorry. I do not know how long it's gonna take us to get this stock in. Hannah's not here at the moment, so she won't be able to reorder these for another week till she's back anyway. So I would get them now. The last kit sold out in three minutes. The kit I launched on Debbie Bolford, or Debbie Bolford on Friday, was it two minutes, Kim? Oh, it wasn't you, was it? It was Dion, who's next door. Um, I think it was two minutes. Now you need to be very quick if you don't want to miss out. If you missed out on the last kit, Get in there quick. Now I'm giving you your warning, I'm giving you your warning. You've got the silver ones this time. Let me show you the jump rings that you're buying. Put it in a basket and check the basket out. And remember, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee. If you've already got the other kit as well, you're gonna want this one. You can't buy these jump rings separately. Have a look at what you've got. So we have got the larger, now you get a hundred of it. Do I get a hundred of each or more than that? They look like more than a hundred, but that's because there's loads of, they're, they're thicker and bigger, aren't they? 
So you've got 300 all together. Now you get the 13.2 millimeter outer diam diameter, 10 mil inner. 7.4 outer, 5 mil inner. 11.5 outer, 8.3 inner. 100 of each. Now you're gonna have to be quick. Are there, uh, did you just say there was loads in baskets already? Lots in baskets already. A third of the stock's gone already. You're gonna have to be really, really quick with this one. Please don't miss out. Now you are also getting in this kit a gorgeous paperclip chain. Approaching half the stock's gone. Please don't miss out on this. You are also getting Beautiful, natural, sorry, can I just stop, just, I'm so sorry, you actually get 600 jump rings, Fleur's nodding her head, <laughs> there are not 300 jump rings, there are 600 jump rings, even better, yes, please be quick though, half the stock, gone, look at the purple pearls, genuine, fresh water, purple pearls you were getting the most amazing hematite it's 200 of each absolutely confirmed you get 600 pearls uh, pearls jump rings now half the stock has gone and sold out over that now approaching three quarters of the stock gone you need to be quick i've got 25 unchecked baskets you've got the gorgeous 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 coated hematite now actually fleur's never used that before and she said she's definitely going to use it again she's never gone for it before we'll talk to you in, and now you've also got Amazing agate drums. Look at that colour. Fuchsia and black agate. Gorgeous. Then I'm going to give to you... Look how many gemstones you get. The soft, stunning rose quartz. Now, this is another first for me because what I'm getting here isn't just any crackle quartz. Oh, no, it's not. It's crackled rose quartz. Look at what you I've never seen crackled rose quartz before. I do believe this is a new strand. I do believe that it is exclusive to the kit. It does look Morganite clay, you're right. Everyone's watch, come in to watch this kit. Now, 600 of the brand new style of jump rings. Brand new strand, exclusive strand of new crackled rose quartz. Three quarters of the stock has gone and sold out. If you don't want to miss out, you need to check out baskets immediately. There are queues on the phones of three minutes long. Original price tag of 47 pounds and 45 pence. Remember, we are talking about genuine gemstones. That silver twisted oval link chain, the links are 23 by 12 and you've got 38 centimeters of that. You have got 600 of the new jump rings. Let's concentrate on those. They are silver, they are the last of the jump rings. You've got a brand new strand of the rose crackle. I've never had crackle rose quartz before. I love it. Have a look at the jump rings. You know you need this. They are so cool, aren't they? They're square jump rings. Yeah, Claire went, they're cool, they're like, they're like square. Well, Claire, you do need to get them, but I'm afraid, my dear, it looks like they might sell out in about two seconds' time. £47.45 is not your price tag today. PWG, we are down to limited quantities of the kit. 0800 655 Woo! All yours for £27.95. You've got the diameters, but you are going to have to make sure you are checking out baskets now. 0800, how many have we got left, Phil? 0800 655 Oh my gosh, 80% of the stock has sold out. Gone. 80%. We have less than eight, uh, we, less than 20 left now. You've got to be very, very quick. 0800 644 655. Please bear with the queues. It's a free phone number and it's so worth it. 90% of the kit has gone and sold out. 10% of the kit remains. Uh, all the W's.jurymaker.com. If you've got it in a basket, you have to check it out. I'm seeing multi buyers, by the way. So you do need to know if you've got an unchecked basket and a telephone caller comes in and asks for three of these, you're in dangerous shark infested waters. Fleur, for any Anybody out there now who's umming and ahhing, what would you say? You have to have this kit. This kit is its one of the biggest kits that I've worked with for a start because you've got the chain in there as well. Just an add, add a few, find it, you know, find impact to it and you can make a lot of jewellery. I've made three, four, three necklaces, a brooch, um, a bracelet and a pair of earrings and I've got 
a f nearly a full strand of the drums, three quarters of a strand of the um, rose quartz, half a strand of pearls and half a strand of hematite left. So, so you've got loads left. Loads left. You've created absolutely stacks. And we're talking about the brand new jump rings. We've got 5% of the stock left. You're going to have to be very, 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 very quick. When you see new elements like this in a kit, gone. There are 37 unchecked baskets. There's four left. You know what's going to happen. You know it. You I bought you it. some of these over in case you would like need them. Let's have a look. I love this. Let's have a look. All of these pieces are outstanding. So let's have a little look. Love it. Love it. It was an accident. What do you mean it was an accident? It wasn't meant to be a brooch and it wasn't meant to look like that. And then I did half of it and thought, no, I've got to carry on because it just looks like an Art Deco brooch. It looks like an Art Deco fan. Love that. And they're so in. Brooches are so yeah. in. Yeah. I love Art Deco too. I love, I love it. it. Look, isn't it pretty? And that is all done using these amazing new jump rings. Claire just said, I'm gonna get me some of those because, and I went, Claire, you can't, they're gone. Right, now I wanna show you something. Uh, Pip, when we were upstairs a minute ago, we were both going, oh my gosh, this is solid. It, we couldn't believe it because of the jump rings. Look what you can make, look what happens. Because that's quite, look, and that's solid piece, look. Don't you think that's amazing? And is it easy to make this? It's a Celtic wings. Um, it's, it is easy-ish. If to do it in a straight line, it's easy. If you do a bracelet, it would be easy. Okay. It's just connecting it into a circle. But what I will try, it's easier to learn that weave on the round rings and then go to the square ones. Oh, because okay. trying to get the last ring in Thanks can be a little honest. bit. Yeah. Okay, that's a great thing. I love these earrings. Mm. Did I steal the last ones? Okay. Yes. Just made sure that I had <laughs> stolen something today. Because otherwise I would feel naked. Would you be shocked if I hadn't? Claire, look at these, aren't they lovely? Don't they're they look simple. like jewellers earrings? They're so simple. And I love mm. just we just weaving them in. And look at this bracelet. Now this is rather Downton, darling. Mm. Isn't that lovely? Again, it's a Mobius ring, um, the two on the outside, and then the, just a little uh, Byzantine link to go onto the, the center single ring. And drop a pearl. I love just oh. a little Byzantine I threw together. <laughs> it was just a little Byzantine. I love the way she's just like, oh yeah, this is like the Claire went, I love that. <laughs> it's gorgeous, isn't it? The kit has completely sold out, of course. Look at this. Please let me know how you get on with these jump rings. I'm so mm. excited for you because they are much easier for me. Mm. Uh, they're kind of idiot proof, so I like them. I need things that are idiot proof. Have a look. Took me four hours to work out the new dishwasher the other day. I was like, what is that? And then I just had to turn a dial. It's like, fine. You know when you think something's a lot more complex and yeah. you're like, right, it's not. I'm going to tackle you, dishwasher. <laughs> uh, there was no way I was going to wash up, you nope. see. So oh, I was going to stay right. there. I could have washed up like 20 times <laughs> by the time I actually, there was no way that was going to happen. I am allergic to washing up. Do we wash up? No. Mm, we don't, I do we? I don't think I've got any washing up liquid. I've got some, but only for when I'm cleaning bits. Yeah. And, but I do put horse bits in the dishwasher. In the dishwasher and stirrups. Yeah, fine. just don't tell anybody it's else. It's fine. It's when you put the stuff in the washing machine, the rugs. Oh, everything well, I comes out that. hairy. Yeah, everything comes out hairy and muddy. Yeah. It's fine. It's, it's that time of year, Flo. Yeah, We've got to be done. Be done. Oh, yes. <laughs> We've got some messages before you okay. kick off. Don't kick off. Uh, Ginia says, Fleur, your designs are wonderful. Fab, oh, fab, fab. Thank you. That's really kind. Thank you. Thanks, Ginia. Uh, another one from Anne in Suffolk. Jenny, it was a bargain at the initial price, but we are sitting here with our mouths open at the new price. Anne in Suffolk, I love you. I know. Wonderful. Love it. Oh, that's why we love working here, isn't it? Mm. It is. And Sophie from Hertfordshire says, no, it's raining really heavy in Hertfordshire that my skybox has lost signal. I was specifically waiting for the demo. <laughs> Don't tell me it's raining in Hertfordshire. I've left the horses out with ripped rugs because I thought it was going to be sunny. <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter's walking over and school. Oh, dear. Sophie, whereabouts in Hertfordshire are you, please? Uh, and I've got sorry from Hertfordshire. Fantastic show, Jenny and Fleur. Jenny, you're brilliant. You're a natural at... Uh, adding cheer to an already delightful occupation. I am still off sick and will be for a while. Uh, my husband told me to stop watching Jury Maker today. Now listen here, Mr. Sorry. I probably live really close to you. 
so don't be messing with Sori's jewellery maker time. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it would depress me. Depress you? Depress you? Not being able to buy anything, I suppose. Not being able to buy anything? Well, she might have bought lots and lots and lots. Oh, OK, She's been fine, funny. OK. We're not here to depress you, sorry, my darling. We're going to fill you up with inspiration so much you're going to burst. Then he'll be sorry. <laughs> Tell you what would depress you, making Miss Lasora's dinner tonight. That'll depress you. That'll lure him. <laughs> uh, Phil went, no, give him a roast in a wrap. <laughs> yeah, stick it in a wrap. <laughs> Do it. What have I got? Baked beans in a wrap. <laughs> cheesy bean wrap. Oh, actually. Mm, yeah, cheesy beans. I get, yeah. I get depressed when I've got no cheese in the cupboard. Yeah, I do yeah. like That cheese. is actually worth going out in the rain to get yeah. cheese. Yeah. 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 Now, which one are we making? We're going to make the brooch, which, um, like I say, this design works perfectly for the square, um, square profile jump rings because they lock together. When they're on the rounds, which I'm, as I'm going to demo now, it doesn't hold its form as well, so it's perfect for this kit. But it still looks lovely if you had the round jump rings and you wanted mm -hmm. to have a go at it, that one. But okay. it is incredibly simple. It does give you a different look, having yeah. a different um, shape of... Yeah. Just like the square wire does. Yeah. It just gives you just a different. Yeah, it's just a different... And it's a different texture. And because they're flat edges, they, they link together, they sit together really well. They and do, they don't stack they? on top of each other. Yes, they do stack. Yeah. And then they stay in place, yeah. like we saw. Have you ever used jump rings like this before? Have you ever been able to get hold of these kinds? Yeah, I've used them once... A a few years ago, um, I had to wait for a slow boat from China for them. A long time they came, took Did coming. Did you really? Yeah, and they didn't have the sizes that we have now. They, oh, great. Yeah. But so you knew the benefits of yeah. them. So you're really excited about yeah. them. Well, I thought when, I, when I, I heard about them coming, I thought, oh, I can only just got like, Japanese or flat weaves. I didn't realise that I could do some three dimensional weaves like the full Persian, like Byzantine, that, because I thought that it wouldn't sit together because the sizes that I've had in the past you wouldn't be able to do it with. But now but these, look. Yeah, these are absolutely perfect. And how wonderful picked. to be able to actually yeah. just experiment. Yeah. Find us here at Jewelry Maker, yeah. experiment, go with it and make yeah. some, that's the thing isn't it? You might think, oh well that won't work. Try it! Yeah. And also, try it! Don't think that you can only use these together, you can use these with your normal jump rings as well. They'll work. Oh yeah. So you can mix and match them, you can use round and square profile. I love it. I say to my son, practice every day. Don't yeah. give me five reasons why you can't do something. Yeah. Give me one reason why, why you can. can. Let's yeah. be positive. Yeah. It, I drive my son pretty crazy with all my positive <laughs> energy around him. Yeah. Because he's a boy, so yeah. you have to work harder on yeah. boys because, yeah. you know, he's male. Yeah, and they'll have the easy option I don't need out. to elaborate. You know, uh, Mikey, I'm sorry. I love you, no, but us mothers have to work harder on giving you this fuel of ambition. Okay? The drive, you need it. Be a salmon, Mikey, what like they I always say. say. Behind every man is a good woman. A great yeah. man is a, a good woman. A <laughs> or a mother with a <laughs> rolling pin. Yeah. You get on with it. That's fine. I told you they'll put, they're putting that on my gravestone. <laughs> my kids say that's all you ever say. Get on with it. Because I hate it when they just sp say they can't. Get on with it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> always in a rush. Anyway, should we get on with it? Yeah, yeah. we'll get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the brooch, and like I said, it was a bit of an accident how it happened, and it is a real simple just to take on Byzantine. So what we start off with is it's going to look different in the rings that I'm going to use because I've got round profile rings. So just so you know, it will look different, and it doesn't hold its form, like I said, as well as it does in the square. So we're going to start off with well, your largest ring, which is the 13 and a half in a di uh, diameter That's ring. That's right, yeah. So the largest one. And you're going to use those rings and then the middle rings, which are the 11 and 11.2, I think they are. OK, so the middle rings are the smaller ones on there right now, are they? Yeah. But, right, OK. Yeah, so if we... The coloured rings I've used as the middle size rings and the pink ring I've used as the large rings, just so you know when you've got the kit home and you're making it up. OK? Mm -hmm. So we put them all on, put 12 small, uh, middle size jump rings onto one large jump ring. I've put them in colours so that you'll be able to see in the demo. And you can see exactly what Fleur's doing. Yeah. Now we are trying very hard to get you these coloured jump rings yeah. for, for learning this technique. Yeah. And I think it's quite an ageless thing because yeah. I see, like we were saying earlier, mm. when you feel the pattern, 
that's when you feel yeah. confident. Yeah, and you can practice with these and they're really tough and you can open and close them lots and lots of times. They're not going to lose their mm -hmm. shape or anything. And you do it with your hands. Yeah, you, you can don't do really it. need anything else. The smaller ones, I use pliers just because um, it'll cut my fingers. But oh, okay. Just because I've got really thin skin on my fingers pathetic. You're a sensitive I am soul. a sensitive little flower. Yeah. That's what I am. My fingers Now are. you're a horse woman. I'm surprised you've got soft hands. I wear gloves. I do dressage, don't I? So I wear gloves. Oh, you're posh, aren't you? I don't, yeah. I don't touch yeah. horses apart from when I'm riding them. <laughs> I'm one of those. Oh, really? Yeah. Livery, darling? Well, I used to. I used to be a rider, so yeah, so I don't, don't do anything You don't like do that. all that? No, oh. no. I'm there mucking out no. four in the morning, I tell you. I'd much rather, much rather do a few more hours work and pay somebody else to do it. <laughs> pay I'm you like to that do with it. ironing. Yeah. I actually enjoy mucking out. Actually, it's yeah. my me time. I enjoy it. You can. I, I it. love it. Me yeah. going away, competing for a week, sleeping on a lorry, yeah. living in muck. Love it. No. It's my idea of a, a good holiday. That is. No. No, I know not yours. No, but I mine. have to be able to plug me straighteners in somewhere. Well, you can in the, our lorry. Oh, you've got it's a flash lorry then. So we've even got a shower. Wow. And then I'll send you yours. It's fine. We've even okay. got an area that lights up where we put all our shopping. Posh lorry. Don't get drunk though, unless no. I. No, it's carver anyway, it's not real shampoo. Ah. Let's go. Just as nice. Okay, so we're going to put our 12 jump rings on our large jump ring, and then we're going to add another large jump ring. So this design only uses two of your large jump rings. Okay. Okay, so we're going to close that up. Now the reason why I've put the coloured jump rings into pairs is because now what we're going to do onto each pair, we're going to add another two jump rings. So it's a, like I said, a bit like a Byzantine. So I'm going to just quickly put two onto each one. Um, and this is so similar. It's, it is chain mail, obviously, because it's linking together, but it is, when, you see the, when you see how it's made, it's so, so simple. And when I'm doing chainmail with smaller ones, I try and use my pliers all the time. So I don't sort of like pick the jump rings up because I keep losing them. So I'll slide two on, hold the middle, and then keep the pliers in my hand all the time. And I'll use my non-dominant hand to hold, use my dominant hand to, to close. And it doesn't matter because it's just demoing, but the closures aren't perfect, I'm afraid. So you do this all the way around, and I was going to try and prep some, but I didn't have enough of the small jump rings, I'm afraid. So just bear with me two seconds, and I'll get these all in. So it's, uh, like I said, like Jenny said before, if um, you have got some coloured wire at home and you can make your own jump rings, it is a lot easier to learn these weaves when you've got the colours. It works. It work. Now, if you haven't obviously got access to these, please just make your own jump rings out of wire, out of yep. the different coloured wires That's that it. we've got. Now, the graphics on your screen right now, the details on your screen are for the eye pins that we had. 100 of each eye pin in the rose gold, the silver, and the gold are the 8.95 on copper. 100 of each, so 300 in total. But there's only a few of that deal left, and a lot of you have got uh, open baskets. We've only got 10 of that deal left, so if you want it, now's the time to check out those baskets. And they're perfect for making, like you say, the rosary links on that, because mm -hmm. I spent ages like making eye pins out of oh, just so a reel much of wire. To have them. Yeah, so much quicker. And like you said, you'd rather pay to have it done. Yeah, <laughs> and they're perfect loops as well. And I know, like I said before, I'm not a really good wire worker, so it's better if somebody can make the loops. So can that's I just no. made the point we don't have them in the new kits, we've just got the head yeah. pins, we have to yeah, make we do. it. Yeah, we have to make our own, yeah. So now I've put two rings onto each one, so if I just pull this one to so the side... So each one ring now has each two rings on it. Oh no, each, each two, two rings, rings has yeah. two rings on it. So we're just doing it in pairs, so each two rings has two rings on there. Okay. Makes so much more sense when you see it in different colours. In, in different, it, yes, is, it, it, it makes it easier. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to do just a, a Byzantine link. So. If we hold the pair that are connected to the large rings together and we're going to pop one ring on one side and one ring on the other. Okay, so if I just tip that. I remember this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then lift up those two. Those two. And then all you're going to do is pinch them together. And the then bottom ones the you're bottom, pinching together. So the, the ones that were on the top originally have now gone underneath. So we pinch the original ones that are attached to the large jump ring together and we separate them. 
and we make a little V. Okay. okay can you see that okay? Yeah. Sure can. And then we just get a jump ring and we pick up those two. So in this instance we're picking up the two green. Now this is one of those weaves that's really difficult with these really large ones because it slips underneath. With your square wide ones you won't have a problem picking these up. So that one and that one. So you make your Byzantine link, your knot, okay? And then we close. And you only add one, so we don't add any more. So we'll do it again. So in this case, we're holding the green. We let the purple sit either side, okay? Lift the green up, pinch the purple together, separate, and there's your two inside that you need to pull together. So again, in, in the middle, making sure that we don't collect any other jump ring, any of the green jump ring at all, okay? Mm -hmm. And then close that one. So we just do that for the next few. This looks so much easier when it's done like this, doesn't it? Yeah, so much easier. So separate, separate through, we go. through and together. And then close. And again, watch your closures when you're doing them with your rings. So again, separate, lift up the original pair, pinch those ones. So just you just pinch them together so that it's easier to get your your link through, your linking jump ring through. Sure. And then it's really weird doing it backwards like this. Because uh, Fleur is demonstrating. She's showing it to the camera, but you can do it the other way if you want to. Yep. We can we can follow you. Okay. So you pinch, and then just add. And we've just got one more to do. And just make sure that we don't collect that side jump ring. Sorry. Just Up we go. There it is. Open it up through the middle. Red one in. Now that should be all of them done. So now we have three Byzantine, uh, sorry, six Byzantine links. Perfect. Okay. Now before you move yep. on to the next bit, I'm just going to give um, everybody a chance to get a findings pack because as you know, the kit has sold out. So right, we are going to give you the silver findings pack, the one with the square wonderful toggle class. Let me give you yep, that because I don't want to, so you're going to need that. We had the gold one the other day for you. It's only the second time you've ever had the silver on air before. Now, um, on its own. I'm going to give you these wonderful flower head pins which make perfect... Oh, this one hasn't been on air before because last time we did it, it was the heart head pins. These are the head pins. These make perfect stud earrings, these mm. little... Uh, are they, they're they butterflies, aren't they? Look. So I used to think they were flowers but they were actually butterflies. Then you have got the square toggle clasps, the ball head pins, because this kit didn't come with findings. So if you do want them, and like we said earlier, I'm just going to show you the silver. They're the same colour. They're the same colour silver. We don't use two different tones because it just wouldn't work with the fluidity of your jewellery. You're going to get a twisted toggle clasp. You're going to get two pairs of these earring find uh, One pair of these, look. So they're a different finding, aren't they? With those big loops. And then you're going to get traditional shepherd's hooks, but you're just going to get crimp bead covers. You're going to get the oval link chain, crimp bead covers, jump rings, little spacer beads as well. You get 118 findings all together. You've got the ribbon ends with the extender cord DQAZ93, the silver on copper essential finding kit with an organza gift bag. You get everything you need to create and it coincides with the colour of the jump rings from the kit for you. So if you'd like findings that will do that, will match up properly. You haven't seen this one on its own before. So the first time you've ever seen this one, this kit. We've got lots of, we've got about four or five different variations in the silver. This one's never been seen on its own. So this is the, if this is your favourite one, then you need to grab it now. Because we know, we'll normally only give them to you in kits. Nine pounds and 95 pence, under 10 pounds for 118 findings. Now Fleur, is that good value? Oh, on some places you can pay a pound for a toggle clasp. You know, really? you, if you went to buy ten head pins from that really expensive big shop, you would be looking at like five pounds for. So, and they're not—they're not, they're not copper. They're base. They're, they're just like nickel uh, type 
Yeah, and often we're looking well. for nickel free because yeah. it's nickel that a lot of people yeah. are allergic to. And it's the chain, I think, that makes these kits because the chain makes your gemstones go so much further. And if you just wanted to do like, like the one on the end that I did, just hang your gemstones off the chain um, into like a, um, so they just hang in, in clusters. It's perfect because you, your featherweight head pins go through all your pearls and all your um, gems of distinction. So the yeah, ones all the fine the, ones. Yeah, 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 they do. And that makes a yeah. difference. We didn't used to do the feather no. like pins, and they're no. so important. Yeah. They're also great for um, tiaras and things because they're yeah. nice and skinny. I like the shape yeah. of these, do you? Yeah, they are. They. I just think it's invaluable to have something like this because there's nothing worse when you've finished a piece. If you haven't got a clasp or you've not got the correct wire to make a clasp or earring findings, or like me, I wouldn't want to make earring findings because I don't, I don't think I'm good enough in wire work to make earring findings to, to sell, you say. She's crazy. But, but I yes, like these I ones. It's looking. these ones that I like. Yeah, the I big made, loopy ones. Yeah, I made nice, some stud they? earrings. I had this, those ones in a kit oh, a couple of weeks you? ago and I put a stud and I wire wrapped a stud onto it so it made a stud earring. How, what, onto there? Yeah, with one of these pins. If I just get a gemstone, give me two seconds. <laughs> How did you make it into a stud earring then? Did that go underneath the ear, that bit? No, if you just pop the head pin, but the, the that head pin into into there. Yeah. And then pop that through. Oh, so it's just that on the Oh yeah, yeah I love and that. And then just wire wrap it onto the top. And because it's a wired uh, you've got a wire wrap loop at the top of the finding, it just mingles in with the finding. And you oh, can't I see how you've me. done it. And it's and it sits very um, rigid in there, it won't move around, it doesn't wobble about. Oh, I like that idea, that's beautiful. 9.95, now I've got some different coloured jump rings for you because a lot of you have been asking for them. We're going to give you a great price and this is wonderful to have for different variation yeah. colours and jump rings, yeah. Fleur, wouldn't you say? Yeah, if you had these with, that, with the silver kit and then um, you could sort of use half of the colours instead of just all silver and break it up, it really makes it stand out. It makes your weave look more um, of a standout as well because it just shows off. Yeah, indeed. And I love these colours. colours. What would you call this? Like an 18 karat gold colour? Yeah. So I think we described them as orange, but I, d no. I just don't think they're orange. No, I don't think they're orange. I think they're, they're beautiful. You've got, uh, these are very fiery together actually, yeah. aren't they? So you have got, is it 100 of each, Philip? No, you've got five mil and six millimetre jump rings. So that's the inner diameters I'm giving you, by the way. So the outer diameters would be 7.4 and 6.5. Now you've got 100 of each. Mm. So you have got, so what is it again? Let me see. 5 mil and 4.1 mil. So these are the 5 mil. You've got 100 of those. Mm -hmm. So I could make a 2 in 1. Yeah. I could do, because I've got 200 in total. It takes about 100 to do a bracelet, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Did you say 100 or did you about say 100. If yeah. you said 150, then you'd make up to an eight eight inch bracelet okay so and you know if you're making to sell uh, you need to I always when I'm making to sell I always make it bigger because then you can take links off if it doesn't fit and that's the best thing about if you are selling your chainmail jewelry if somebody says oh I like that but it doesn't fit if you've got a few jump rings in your box by the side you can make it fit it's not like you have to take a stretchy bracelet apart and then restrand it you can use that you know use your your extra rings for that reason so you can take them off or put them on and these are anodized aluminium so they're really lovely to open and close yeah they, they do it they're just very fluid but they're so mm. strong yeah and they're so lightweight and it's funny how sturdy they are yet mm. so you know yet so easy to manipulate mm. now they should be 1180 which i actually think is a wonderful price mm. tag for 400 jump rings paula in essex says these colors make nice flowers yeah they would make gorgeous flowers paula yeah. you're right and i also think you know very autumnal mm. lovely warm tones coming through here we're not going to give you 400 for 1180 i actually think that's very very super value uh, we're going to to take it down substantially for you to just 6.95 now I would buy two of these knowing I was getting absolutely super value we are selling out of things left right and center this afternoon so if you would like to have a little bit of a play and a little bit of an experiment with chain mail this is your deal but also if you would like to coincide your beading thread colors with your jump ring colors this is a great opportunity for you to do that too uh, now I'm seeing absolutely loads of you on the phone lines there is a queue 
please bear with it. Please check out your baskets if you want to get hold of this deal. Thank you so much for multi-buying. Sharon and George has got two. Loads of you multi-buying. Uh, do stick with us on the phone lines. I know we are busy today, but this is, a, this is a phenomenal deal and you're not paying any extra P and P. Now we're gonna continue on with Gorgeous Fleur and I'm gonna leave the details for that bundle on your screen. So Fleur, where are we at? So we, we linked did a Byzantine link on each one of our six pairs mm -hmm. and now it's really simple from now on in so those links that that single ring that we put through all we're going to do is link those two rings together so we're going to make six sections into three so just the two Byzantine links you link together okay so we close that one so that's one complete section and then we go to the next two so we get the middle ring that we took up and then the next middle ring again okay so you can see those two there and we're going to add a jump ring so three the different turn. colors there that's important that's it. isn't it so there are two byzantine links sorry let me just hold it straight on for you um there are two byzantine links one's orange and red and one's green and um gold mm -hmm. and then i've just taken the middle ring out of each one and linked those two together okay and closed it and we only do this three times so our last one is here so that's the red ring there and the gold ring there and we link that one, sorry, link that one together there. And then close. And then when you hold it down, that is, that's it. Love it. And that is exactly the I same love as it. that. Now, when you can actually see the difference, though. What I've done is Because well. it's with the different... Um, yeah the different jump rings so well, you can I, see the different look I stole a couple of jump rings out of the other kit so Good you can you. see where where the, the joins are so you've got your what I did is I used the silver for the two and the two okay if I pop it down there for you sorry I used the silver for the two and two and then I used the black to make the inside of the Byzantine link up and then I used the gold to link the two black rings together. So if I lift it up so as it would sit, you can see where it, where it all sits, okay? If you've got any questions for Fleur, now's the time. We've still got 20 minutes in the designer inspiration. So if you have any questions, now is the time. Uh, we have already got a message coming through. Uh, Barbara in Dorset, stop, stop, stop. All these lovely kits and jump rings. I've spent next month's uh, pension. Bread and water from now on. Barbara. It's all right, Barbara. So there's still lots of apples in gardens and things. Yeah. You can live off apple pie. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, and, oh, Barbara, don't, because it yeah. makes me think you're going to be starving. I'll send you some beans. Hazel says, hi, ladies. What size of wire would you use to make your own jump rings? One mil, one mil wire would be the best one to use because it's a little bit more substantial. And you can make the bigger ones. Yeah, you can make the big ones. Um, 1.25 wire is OK, but it's tougher to open and close all the time and if you're using them with your fingers because when you're learning a weave it's easier to learn closing them with your fingers rather than picking your pliers up because then it's like knitting you get your knitting needles and your wool all in a bit of a jumble yeah so if you're using this this wire is two mil aluminium wire that I've used that that these are made from and they are quite tough to open and close so yeah if you could use one mil the one mil coloured wires and just get a couple of reels of different colours I'd say you'd, you'd only need about four different colours because most weaves only take like four different stages. Mm -hmm. So four different colours and you'd be absolutely fine. Perfect. Perfect. Another message from Philip. Uh, hi all, do you ever rivet your jump rings as they did in the armour? And if you do, how do you do it from Phil in Stoke? Well, yeah, they used to rivet jump rings. What does that mean, uh, even? Well, they used to sort of like solder them together. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. So solder, the, solder them closed. Um, there is, there is armour that is made from rivetings where they'll punch out holes in a sheet of metal to make it look like chainmail. So there's that kind of. There's different kinds of armour. There's 
armour that's been used in all over the countries, um, all over the world, have all got their mm. different shapes and styles of, of armour and chainmail. I've never riveted because pure chainmail, that, that that's what it means. It means that they're linked together and it stays strong without any solder or any closures that aren't just closing them together. So it's an art form in itself, chainmail, as in making the armour and everything. But yeah, you can rivet them, you can solder them shut. But sometimes if you solder, I have had a go at soldering and I soldered one jump ring to the next jump ring and ruined the piece so it didn't have that movement. You've got to be a really fine You've got detail. To be really so fine detail. You've got to be very experienced yeah. at soldering, yeah. I'd say. And also, I love a good old soldering yeah. iron. <laughs> I do yeah. love them. I'm not really allowed things like that. No, I My can husband, imagine yeah. I wouldn't be allowed those yeah. sorts of things. Yeah. But, uh, Going through a rebellious yeah. streak, get one anywhere. <laughs> but yeah, you can solder each jump ring closed. Um, if you are selling your pieces, it all adds to the man hours of t making that piece, so it, it would make that piece a little bit more expensive. Um, I don't know how long it would take you to solder 300 jump rings closed as you're making it. Um, some of the weaves are like the circle, um, the Celtic wings pendant that you like that was solid that you would find very difficult to get in and solder because they're, they're so close together, those jet yeah. rings. So sometimes you can actually sacrifice the yeah. design by doing that, yeah. but it isn't impossible. If, you, if you're if you precise enough, great. Yeah. Now, Fleur, is there anything else you need yeah. to show us? Which one, which other piece did I'd you? I'd like to show you how to make a Mobius ring, which Mobius is... Mobius ring? Yep. Is that which these is, here? That's those, yeah. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that, because Claire was a little bit obsessed with these. Yeah. She likes a bit of chain mail. The Mobius ring is one of, it's a it, like a Byzantine link, it's a standalone piece um, of, of link. So you can just use it by yourself or you can use it as I have in the necklace and link two together. They are simple it, as long as you follow the pattern. And you don't have to use just three, you can use as many as you can get through the hole, if you know what I mean. So it'll become a clear when I show you. They remind me of the wall sign on labels when you check yes. your labels. That's yeah. what it yeah. looks like. I really like these. And there is some connectors on the website which are like this. Yeah, yes, there are. Yeah, yeah, some sterling silver ones. But I, I, um, I like making my own. Yeah, they, well, these are well. bigger because they're made out yeah. of Yeah. And like I say, you can add more rings to them. So it's always we, good to learn a new skill anyway, isn't it? We start with one closed ring. OK. And then we pick that ring up and we keep it horizontal. Now you have to keep it horizontal. If you drop this at any time, you do have to take it apart and start again because every ring has to go through the same um, way. So we get our ring and we go down through the ring. So we make like um, like the two C's of a very famous oh, handbag Janelle. company. Yes, <laughs> like that one. And then we close. Now <laughs> that's it. So we basically got that. Mm -hmm. And then we slide the one that we've just added over the top, okay? So you can start to see how it how it's forming. And then we get our next ring. Oh, there's three. I thought there's there were three. only two. No, you there's see. three. Oh, you I can see. make them with five. We're going to do one in a minute with five. Oh, crikey! So you put the, the two together, and then it's really important that you add the next ring in the same direction and the same. I always put it in the same As place so going. I remember. Oh yes. So it's again. You've got your two back-to-back -back C's if you like. Now I've just dropped that so I need to put them back together. Hey, uh, see, even they, I even I drop that. them. <laughs> oh they fly everywhere. <laughs> and then we go down and then we close and then you slide and that is your Mobius ring. That was okay. so much easier than so I thought. Gonna do it again. So what are you saying about fine? Yeah do that again so and we'll then do we'll, it again, then and then we'll, we'll do it and life. then we'll complicate it. <laughs> So we start with one closed ring, and you can do this with any size jump ring. So if you've got large jump rings or small jump rings. Okay, so we keep it horizontal, and I always use this side to go in, and then I always remember which side I've gone in. Mm -hmm. So I go down, keeping it flat, so down, and then turn it so it's in the two C's, and then close. And then we slide this ring over the top to make the two and then we get the next ring and again you have to add both of them together into the two C's and then close and then you slide it together and then if you drop it if it gets all middled up you just keep spinning it round until, until it, it comes there. Oh, I really like that. So we can make a real 
independent feature out of this as well because we can add more rings. Now the amount of rings that you can add depends on how much room obviously you've got inside your your three that you've ah, already added. Yes, good point. Okay, so I can add another, with this size jump ring, I could add another two and it will be absolutely fine and I'll still be able to put a jump ring onto it to add it to a chain. Okay. Okay, so we're going to pick this up again. Again, we're going to hold it horizontally and we're going to go down through and close. Now people get confused with this because they add them and twist the jump ring at the same time. You can't twist the jump ring. It what has do you mean twist the jump so ring? So they'll go down and then they'll twist it that way or they'll get it caught up. Well, and that just and doesn't it, work. It's got to it, be a way you've got to go with the flow yeah, of the direction, it, so yeah? It's like a bit of um, a whirlwind. So yeah. it's like a... Um, if you think about that, like it going yeah, down the plug that's hole. That's it, like it going down the plug hole, yeah. that's it. Don't plug hole. That plug hole. Is it true that in some parts of Britain it goes one way and some parts of Britain the other way? Or is it not is Britain, it, is it? No, it's the world, line? isn't it? Yeah, it's the over the equator. How yeah. funny is that? I've never noticed which way ours goes, though. Ours goes that way. Does it? I'll have to look. Oh, it might go the other way. Oh, well, let's try it. I'll have a bath later. <laughs> we'll have a bath because, of course, I've got to lie in this bath for four hours. I'm experimenting. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be nice without children banging on the door. My son keeps getting in every time oh, I get yeah. in the bath. I'm getting I'll in with that. you. I'm like, yeah. oh, God. Oh, it's too hot in this yeah, bath. That's like, it. Yeah, it's my bath. They do it I all the time, that. don't yeah. they? More bubbles. It's okay, so we've got the last, the five, the fifth ring in, and then close. And that makes. If you can see there, it makes a more substantial, so you can see. If I pick it up as well, you'll be able to see what it looks like when it's picked up. Okay. So that's it as it's, as it's there as well. So you can see, I mean, if you did that in, in the three colours that you've got, if you've got, the both, if you've got both of them, and that... You could either hang a pearl or, or a gemstone in the middle of it. I've I like it like that, ends. though. I think how you've done with the earrings, yeah. I love that. So you've just put one small jump ring. And actually, that sort of, you put a jump ring either side. And yeah. what that does is keeps it, keeps it behaving. Yeah, it keeps it together. But it, it, if, you get, if it looks like a bit of a jumbled mess, all I do is I get the middle of it and I just spin it. And then you can see which rings aren't going the right way. So those two rings have flipped over. They're not behaving. They're not behaving. And then you spin it, and then that's it. And Hooray. it's back together. So it can, I mean. It's lovely, can, isn't it? They, some people call them uh, flowers as well. Some people might say that they're, they're uh, roses. I suppose so. But I mean, we could add another. We could add another one you in there. You could keep so, going until it's not yeah. happening so anymore. So you could, you could till there's no gap in the middle. Mm. But then what you've got then is you've got the fact that you can't get a jump, unless you add a jump ring to the top. To yeah, but then that's going to take one higher than the others. Yeah, so that will pull it out. So that's it with that six in there now. So I think it's. I think oh, it's a, I like it. It's yeah. one of those pieces as well that if you've got a few jump rings left and you don't know what to do with them, you've got say you've got six left. You can make a simple pair of earrings, three in each one with two gemstones, and it makes it. They they look really expensive. I think I think yeah. it's one of the one of those weaves that once you've learnt it. And you can do it. You can add it into pieces. It doesn't have to be a chainmail piece. It can be, you know, you can add. You could go either side here and here, and bead off of that, and have that just as a, a choker style in the middle. Love it. And it's a really, it's a really handy little link to learn. Phil said, "You've made a jump ring Viennese swirl." Because <laughs> yeah. everything is food to him at the moment. Yeah. Viennese swirl wraps on its way. Yeah, I was going to say, you can't put it in a wrap. You can't put that in a wrap, Philip. Now, I've got a saw blade. Have you, you use these, don't you? I have used them, yes. Um, I cut quite a lot of rings, so I've got a, more of a... Like a dremel -y a thing. A dremel -y uh, thing, yeah. I love the dremel I do. It now, these fabulous. are great. If Debbie, I know Debbie Balfour uses this, and it's on the yeah. Chainmail DVD. So if you want to make your own jump rings, we've got some wire. A lot of people are saying today, well, I want to make my own jump rings. I want to do lots of coloured jump rings. You're going to need to saw cut them. Because if you don't saw cut them, you're not going to get them back together properly. Uh, I mean, if you side cut them, it's all right if you're making a necklace that way, but I wouldn't make chain mail that way. No, if you're just using, doing your practice ones, so if you, you, it, that's fine just to cut them with whatever you've got, just so you can practice, because... You know, it, it will start you on your journey of chainmail, and then to make, I mean, to have to start with a reel of wire and then to end up with a bracelet is an amazing feat to make your own jump oh, rings yeah. and then to weave them together. It's like having your own sheep and shearing it and spinning it and then making a jumper. It's, oh, you've done everything. You've done everything. <laughs> yes, I like that. I like our analogies today. Yeah. We're good. We should write those things on Facebook that everyone yeah. does. Do them in greetings cards. Yeah, yes, yes, we should.
<laughs> yes. Uh, now you're getting the two uh, different packs of different sizes of blades, which will give you different thicknesses of cuts. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So you've got absolutely, I think there's like 200 blades all together. There's loads of blades. Let me have a look. Here's a message from our Paula. What gauges of wire and sizes of saw blades would you use to make jump rings with the saw? Definitely one mil, one mil wire. Um, the thinner the saw, the saw blade, the better, because the more you take out of the wire, the less it will go back into a, into a, a, a round jump ring. It will go more of an oval. So if you take out quite a large chunk with your saw, then it won't go back together. It'll go slightly egg-shaped. Okay. So the thinnest blades that you that you have in there, um, and take it nice and slowly when you're cutting them as well. Don't sort of go for it because it, then you'll get the burrs, and then you'll need the, the little burr uh, that we had the, yeah, earlier. The little thing. Yeah, 25 of each blade, so you have actually got 600 blades. Wow, crazy. Uh, UJG C80, your saw cutter and your two packs of blades should be 22.85. So it's also great for using with perspex and sheet metal, anything like that, anything that you want to give a great cut to. All the way down, and hubby might want to use this as well, to 9.95, so great try me out price yeah. tag for you. Please be careful when you're using this, it is a tool and it is an industrial tool. And of course saw blades are sharp, so please be aware of that before you get all saw happy. UJG C80. Nine pounds and 95 pence is your price tag. Uh, now, like I said, if you've got any questions whatsoever for Fleur, now is the time to put them through to, I'm sorry that the two kits are sold out. We are trying our darndest to get them back in for you. I've got some chain and some, um, and some, I always forget the name for bulk ring bulk. clasps. Uh, now, these are great little additions. Yes. And if you've got the first kit, I think the colourways go really nice. It's always great to have chain. Now, if you're using um, chain mail, uh -huh. and you've got a nice link chain like this. It sort of breaks it up a bit. And, and what I like about these links, and actually these are open links by the looks, aren't they? Are they? Are they? Are they? Is that an you open could, link? No, 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 they're, no they're you they're could cut it though. But you could, you know, these sorts of elements will make your chain mail go a little bit yeah. further, won't they? Yeah. You can. I I've used chain to make um, scale mail pieces so you could you link one scale via a jump ring to each link of the chain it goes into a really lovely um, it sits on top of each other oh so it, it's it's cheats way of scale mail so when they, when it sort of overlaps and looks yeah. what I say like kind of um, owl feathers yes yeah it looks yeah. a little bit like that yeah. doesn't it now I love the different textures that yeah. we're getting here you've got yeah. the smooth and you've got that ropey texture in there as well ropey it's not ropey like that yeah. now I'm also going to take my brother always says when I got no makeup, oh, you look ropey. <laughs> look at this. So you've got the jump rings in the antique bronze. Now I use jump rings like this, bolt rings, bolt rings, for charms. Yeah. I sometimes find them, I, I wouldn't put them in a necklace or a bracelet because they're too skinny for me, but I love them for charms. Mm. I love them for if I'm adding on bits and pieces, coordinating. I, I will use them in a, in a more delicate piece of jewelry because sometimes a toggle crossbow is far too heavy for a delicate piece. Yeah. And if I was making steampunk pieces, like I will be tomorrow, then this is the colour yeah. I want. Frankie will be loving those. She will. Yeah. And you could, I mean, if you got your um, swelligant, you could put a green patina over those as well. You, if you mm. primed it first and then put your, painted it with the metal and then put the patina Lovely. over the top. Yeah, gorgeous, that would be. Gorgeous. But I think they're, um, they're really nice for interchangeable jewellery as well. They, they you, sure are, yeah. You know, with, the, with this um, pendant, with the um, brooch that I've just made, I could put one of those on the top and then I could add it to a necklace as well. So I could clip it onto a necklace. It wouldn't have to be a brooch, it could be a pendant. And you can take it on, you put it yeah. on, whatever yeah. you want to do. Now these are only 11 95 and uh, Teddy Bear in Texas, hello. Would it be wise to cut the antique bronze plated copper chain from the top or the side? Well, it's actually got yeah. where they soldered it together. Yeah. So I would go, actually Teddy Bear, into where they, look, let me show you a solder link there. You can actually see them if you look really, can you see, can you see that? I'm not sure if we're, you see that little dint there? 
that's not an I would cut it there do you yeah. agree with that Flo? I would always cut that on the side because if you then put it back together the the strength of the piece or the, the wear and tear is on where they're linked together mm. so if you, if you cut it where it links together and it pulls It'll it will off. pull it open yes so yeah always I, side. always I always try and find a side bit to cut it perfect that's that's really great thank you I because that does make a difference doesn't it mm. AGG C69 you've got a meter of that and a hundred of the bolt ring class with the six mil jump ring. So any more questions? We've got four minutes. So there's anything that you haven't covered that you need to cover now. Four minutes to do so. I can do a quick brooch, how I made the brooch itself. Ah, and yeah, please. Pin. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, we've got another message before you do that. Okay. Maureen says, so sorry, Fleur. How do you attach the brooch to the uh, pin? The pin. I'll show you now how to make the pin. Now, like I say before okay, going on, I'm not very good at wire, but I managed to do this. With the right, right tools, easily. you can do yeah. anything. Now, I used the large baling pliers, but you can use anything that's around your house, a, a marker pen, something like that. And something it's that's, got that thickness. Yeah, that's thickness. Mm -hmm. So I took a piece of wire, and this is far too long, but um, I always work with longer wire because I find it easier to, to manipulate to the shape that I want it to go into. And what I did is I made a complete circle on my baling pliers. So i finished with with this okay perfect right then what i did is if i just turn it towards me sorry about three centimeters away from where the wires cross i just kicked that up so i left it up in the air like that okay i've probably got the wrong color on so you can see it then that's what's going to make our clasp in a minute so that's what's going to be the hook that the the pin will go into Okay, so the same distance away on the other side, I did a rat, just like a, a loop. So about, about there. And I used quite near the ends of the pliers. And I just made a loop. And I did a, a two loop one, okay? So that's your spring. Ah, so that's so what that's we like have now. That's springy hinge. That's your springy hinge. Okay, now it's just sitting on the bottom and I need to sit it on the top, but it's fine. That's why we use wire because it's malleable and we can, we can make it go where we want it to go. So now it's sitting up in the air. Okay, so you can see there. If you do um, like I've just done, then just bent it a little bit. Just use your pliers and straighten it back out. And then all we do is bend the top bit, so the small bit, over and create your clasp uh -huh. and then you just trim off this part so that it's not too long and then with your pin if it's going through a big chunky knit it doesn't need to be as sharp but the way to get a really nice sharp edge on it is if you use your side cutter pliers we were saying this earlier this is where the side cutters are brilliant yeah. and if you go on a if you hold it up and then on a cut. diagonal, those ones might not be sharp. Because <laughs> I'll go. tell you what, people keep using them That's for their it. own memory wire. And then, and then what I would do with that is I get that file that you had on before, yeah. and I just file the very sharp down. So it's not down. too ouchy. So it's not too, but that will go through. I mean, I wouldn't put it through a silk blouse or anything like that because it would make a hole in it. Same and as any pin. Same you as any go pin. Ahead and do that anyway. And then all you do is. So that's your thing. And then you pop it on. And then you literally just feed it on to your circle. Like that. And that's, I mean, this, that, the brooch has got a, another um, hanging oh, pin on it. So, do you know what I mean? So it's got a, let me show you. I've you put it. an extra jump ring there. That's it. So that and it will hang it. straight. Let me just put one on and I can show you there. You've got the extra jump ring there, look. And then, of course, the embellishment at the bottom, too. That's it. So if we just pop it on to there, and that's then your, your pin. Perfect. She's a good un. She's a good un. She's a good un. Thank you so much to Fleur. Now, last hour of the show, we are going to show you. It's gone so quickly. It has. So many incredible bargains coming up for you. Super value deals, amazing strands, and more from Fleur's input as well. So again, if you want any last minute questions, you've only got an hour of Fleur time. We'll be back after this.
a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order for just 50p and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates for items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from the Genuine Gemstone Company. I think Labradorite, when you think about it, is as beautiful as a diamond because it gives you, for me, more amazement than a diamond. You look at it and it does something really unexpected, like a lightning bolt. Labradorite is one of those gemstones from Jewelry Maker that is always going to be a top seller. The Labradorite that you get from Jewelry Maker has got extreme amounts of labradorescence. The colour saturation is just superb and that's really indicative of the quality that we can get for you here at Jewelry Maker. Um, it seems to reflect your moods as well, whatever kind of mood you're in, whatever you put it with, it seems to bring out those gorgeous colours so it really is a true chameleon gemstone. Moonstone is beautiful. It looks so stunning in bridal jewellery. Its iridescence just makes it such a different gemstone against anything else. When you're putting it into your own jewellery, you can put it in tiaras, you can put it in drop earrings, and it makes those pieces special. One of the most fascinating things about Moonstone is, I think, it's myth and legend. And whether it's a gemstone which is used for fertility or a gemstone which you give to loved ones, it's a fantastic gemstone to own, especially from JM, because of the natural qualities, the rainbow shilly which you get from this amazing gem. And whether it's in nuggets or whether it's really, really highly faceted, whether it's a smaller carat weight or a larger carat weight, you're always guaranteed a superb example of the gem. Jewelry Maker are having a web exclusive sale on 95 sterling silver. Head over to our website now and take advantage of up to 75% off. All stock must go, but be quick because if you miss it, you'll miss out. Get involved with Jewelry Maker this Halloween by entering our spooktacular competition. We want you to send in pictures of your wirework pumpkin that has been inspired by guest designer Alison Tarry. Send your entries by October 30th to thehub at jewelrymaker.com. Entries will be shown on the Designer Inspiration Show on the 31st of October. <laughs> Welcome back. You're watching Designer Inspiration. I'm Jenny Cleary and I'm going to be with you for the next hour because today's show is going so quick it's unbelievable. Everything keeps selling out. Do you know I've just decided who I look like and it's put me off the fringe entirely. Did you ever used to watch Rod, Jane and Freddy of Rainbow? I look like Jane with this hair. <laughs> no, you don't. Rod, Jane and Freddy off of Rainbow. I've got Jane's hair. That's what just I just looked and went Rod, Jane and Freddy in my head. Rob didn't used to watch that. Rainbow, paint the whole world with a rainbow. Do, 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 do. They ain't got a clue. They ain't got a Too clue. Too young. Are we the same age? We're the same no, age. No, I'm aren't? older than you. You're not? Yeah, I am. I'm 40 in March. Are you? Yeah. I thought you were the same age as me. See, I'm older than you. Hey, you wear it well. <laughs> but you remember Rainbow and Finger yeah. Nice and all the good oh, ones. Oh, yeah, all the best ones. Bagpuss was my favourite. I love Bagpuss too. Yeah. We will find it, we yeah. will find it. Glue, glue, glue. No, nothing. They don't get it. Do I look like, yeah, do I look like her, don't I? Oh, it's going to have to go now. Now. Oh, I see, I knew it. I looked in there and went, oh, Roger and Freddie. It's happened, it's happened. I look like her, don't I? Can you, we're not even related. I'm sure. She used to give me the, Rod used to give me the creeps. Now, look at this. 80s kids programme's got a lot to answer for. Mm. 
Now, these are gorgeous. I actually love 12 mil rounds, and it's funny because they do look lovely either end yeah. of a chain mail bracelet. Now, if you bought the last kit with the silver ones, I would say that these are the ones that you want. These are the rounds right at the end. Keep that lovely silver theme running through. And they've got, actually, these are almost a little bit platinum y, aren't they, in the look? A 12 mil round is so versatile as well because it's great for putting in earrings you, you can make a macrame bracelet out of these simple stretchy like I said I, I mean if you're gonna I mean we're work we're, we're watching today for chainmail then these are these are definitely your rounds these are the ones that you want Fleur and it's easy to actually you were saying earlier it breaks up a piece of chainmail yeah, sometimes it does and also if you just had three of those with one of the black jump rings don't even do anything with it just close it thread it on and just have three with the two black jump rings inside and then chainmail around or macrame or bead or whatever but just to use your jump rings, not at a spacers, because those square Rather profile ones, and break that up with that, because even the gold, silver and gold or silver and black, whichever ones you've got, whichever kit you manage to get, they, they would go perfectly anyway, because black, silver and gold is perfect. A beautiful wholeheartedly agree to that and again we were talking about the benefit of using shell pearl rather than faux pearl and it just works doesn't it kcp 59 12 millimeters at six pounds and 95 pence what about a bit of a goddess bracelet these are the last 30 and i think when it's coming up to party season when it's going to be christmas and the new years and all of that malarkey then you want your metallics don't you this is going to go brilliantly with your kit as well so please pop it in your basket and remember that it's only one pmp uh, we are limited in stock in these this is your last opportunity perhaps to see them so make sure you are checking out i've got lots of unchecked baskets hello to brenda and nicola you've got yours jane and susan deborah anonymous in glamorgan you've got yours elizabeth of the east ridings of yorkshire hillary you've got yours susan in yorkshire's joined us as well jane in beds jane in beds i'll be in beds in biggles wade on sunday because my son has got a is, is playing football against the biggles wade whatever they're called Six, I don't know what they're called, the Biggles Wade under 10s, don't know what it is. Six, no, they've usually got a name. He played against the Cougars the other week, which made me have a little bit of a chuckle. Uh, but he is a, he's a Letchworth Eagle, is what my son is. 695 KCP 059. It is funny what they call their football. Is your son into football yet? He's a bit yes. young yet. Is oh, he knows oh, he's no, in. Oh, yeah, he's only started. He's Borsal Common Hornets. Oh, I love it. How old is he now? <laughs> he's five in November. Day oh, bless his yeah. little heart. He's having a football birthday party with a football coach. And, and a football that. cake. Yep. The lot, the works. What football team does he support? Um, he says Liverpool, but I'm from Sheffield, so he's got to be Sheffield, you know, uh, Sheffield Wednesday, not Sheffield Oh, tonight. conflict in the family. Yeah. Well, my yeah. son supports Man United, only because my brother does. <laughs> 695, Kate, all of his friends like the Spurs. Is that what they're called? The Spurs, something like that. Yeah, they're going to watch Luton Tan on Saturday. That's tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, KCP 059, Margaret's got two, Mary's got two. You have to learn these things when you're a woman that doesn't like football. You have to learn it all. Now, oh, I love these, Philip. Let's have a look at these. Now, if you're ever into crystal healing, and I don't know if you are or if you're not, then you're going to like these. You're going to love them, actually. But also, my grandma, who is a bit of a crazy woman, I'm going to admit to you, not great, you know, like hippy dippy, loves things that beam around the room. She's actually got just like this on chain in her window. And when the light hits them, it sends what she calls the fairies flying all around her living room. They look amazing. Mm. They do. And I did actually used to think they were fairies <laughs> as little. Uh, but it's this kind of um, cut that actually makes that light bounce around the room so if you did want something to hang from your window to make the light dance around the room it would be one of these now i think these are very traditional in in the fact that the in crystal shape of course these are real gemstones these are genuine clear quartz a lot of energy is associated with clear quartz if you're into crystal healing if you're not then i absolutely apologize not everybody is i mean i'm not massively I, I love a myth and legend i don't practice crystal healing but i'm interested i'm always interested in these sorts mm. of theories uh, but it's gemstones like this which sort of break the mold here at jewelry maker because they are those different shapes they are those different sizes and i love the cut of them but how would i incorporate these into jewelry actually fleur i would use each individual one as a pendant me too and, and have 
however many is on there, each individual pen, either on a chain, on a piece of cord, a chain mail, um, however you want to, to hang it. Or if you've got a really nice chandelier at home that's not got, that's just glass and you want to put crystal on it, you could hang them on the bottom of your chandelier. I like make that a idea. Crystal chandelier. You could make a little can, Ooh, yeah. hang on a minute. Normal candle candlestick, yeah. right? Just regular one that you get from a normal homeware shop. Actually make some lovely drops coming mm. down. You buy something like that, yeah. they cost loads. What a yeah. great Christmas yeah. gift. Yeah, so let's think, a, let's think outside of the jewellery making box. Mm. And let's think about generic craft here. You could make something absolutely ornamentally gorgeous. Mix it with a bit of resin. Maybe make something that you're going to hang, something really personal. I love the idea of putting these in with candles and yeah. things on long candlesticks. It'd it make the concept. light, the light that come through them would be beautiful as well, wouldn't it? That kind of candle light that it would radiate from and go through that gemstone, it would look stunning. I agree. Mm. I really do. And I love this shape. I love that they've got the little tips at the bottom as well. Let's have a look at that. They've got these little pointy tips at the bottom. You've got varying shapes on here. Some of them are skinnier. Now, how long have we had these? Can you see the tips or not? It's quite hard. Yeah, there you go. I hold them like that, you can see. So these really are um, thought through, aren't they? And you can see they have got incredible clarity. You can't believe that that's a gemstone. It's brilliant, but isn't it's it? So, it's so clear. It's beautiful. And this one's even clearer. You want to you wanna know about the drill hole? It's a regular size drill hole. I wouldn't say it's any bigger, but it's certainly no, no. finer than a regular, regular size drill hole. LQR U96, 1995. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of these to the strand. You went into a crystal shop, you would be paying per stone probably about four or five pounds. Yeah. So this really is great value for money, isn't it? 0800 644 is the number to be calling. This is super value. You're going to have to check out baskets. 190 carats in total of genuine quartz. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I've got some myths and legends in, uh, in front of me, actually. Let's have a look. It's move me, myth and legend. Move me, myth and legends. I can't see me, myth and legends, you nana. They never listen, boys, do they? Here we are. Here we are. Now, let's see. Dip, 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 dip. Oh, I've lost it. It's, it's about energy, though. Yeah, well, I was watching... Gems TV last night and Glenn Leary was on and he was on about clear quartz and how it's used in watches and you get the energy uh, it obviously it makes the it, it strikes up. boing boing yeah. boing and it makes tick tick yeah. tick yes so you can and people can feel the energy if you believe in it if not it's just a beautiful stone. but actually it's true that mm. they use quartz to energize watches just, that are wind up watches yeah. uh, and it strikes that's why it always says quartz on a watch yeah it's true mm. and uh, yeah 1905 we've got a message you're right, thank you. Uh, Daniel Jessica, hello Daniel Jessica. Jenny, those crystal points in a crystal shop can easily cost 10 pounds each, because I said about four or five. Well, thank you, thank you. In, ha in Hampshire, easily cost 10 pounds each. How many did it count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so that's 80 pounds. These are 20 pounds, so you're getting better value. And in, the, in a shop, they wouldn't, be, um, they wouldn't be drilled. They'd just be as they, they were. They wouldn't be drilled, So you'd have they? to try and wire wrap it into a piece that's drilled so you can yeah, actually hang it then you wouldn't they, just they, have they, it in they, a pocket yeah, yeah and they glue, they glue the ends on don't they as well so you can oh, have like they? a cap that goes over the end that they'll glue on yeah oh but then you miss the top clarity yeah. I, you miss that that that's why they're special because you can mm. see all around yeah. them if you put a cap on it it'll shadow it yeah so that won't work so much I mean, well of course it would shadow mm. it wouldn't it, it does straight away because look, look at the yeah. light difference now there. Yeah. There. The light is different. Uh, 1995, these are grand to have in your collection. L-O-R. U96 is your item code. Now, I'm going to give to you. Oh, yes. Now, I gave these to you. It could have been Friday. No, it wasn't these exact ones. They were bigger because I ordered them. Yeah, I've ordered them. I didn't know they came in smaller. Now. Have you ever gone into a charm bracelet shop? Now, I've actually got Mia a charm bracelet. It was the Lynx one. 
It could be. It could have been. I'll just say it. It was a Links of London one. Could have been a Pandora. I've got a Pandora ring. Got They're expensive. We've all been in there. Yeah. I'm not going to pretend yeah. we're not. We have it. Thomas Sabo. Chloe got bought a gorgeous Thomas Sabo piece for her birthday. Okay, but these kinds of spaces are about forty pounds each. Now I'm going to give you four. They're solid sterling silver, and they got peridot all around them. Now I look five. I've got four in here. Who's stolen one? It was probably me. <laughs> you get five. Five. I only had four of the last ones. I ordered two of them. Do you know why I ordered them? Because I do need some tweezers. What have I done with my tweezers? Jenny. They're right in front of me. Or did I take them over there? Thank you. Oh, I could have used the grabber. Yeah. No, because then I won't see the gemstones around the edge. But I might do that as well, Philip. All right. Thanks for the suggestion. Now, I want you to look at these and I want you to think about how much they would cost you in a charm bracelet shop. You get five, five. They've got peridots all around the edge. Can you see that properly? Yeah. Now that's solid stone silver. Look how substantial that is. And will your little snaky bracelet go through there? Aren't they great? Aren't they? Yes, they are chunky, aren't they? Let me show you. Let me try and get them with a the grabber. My little grabber. I don't think you'll be able to see them with a the gemstone grabber, though. You can't really see the gemstone around it, though. Well, you can. Flo, don't you think... I mean, I have been in those charm bracelet shops. I have bought my daughter those charm bracelets before I worked at Gems TV. They have cost me £40 for something yeah. like this in her yeah. birth gemstone. Yeah, and it's, it's just the name that you're buying with them as well. And sometimes the birth gemstones in there aren't gemstones. They're just... Replicas? That, yeah, that... That nice crystal. Circy worky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, Zirconia or Swarara? No, yeah, that one. Swigalogolovsky. You get five. They're solid sterling silver. They're peridot. 14.95. What's that divided by five? 15 divided by five is three. Yeah, of course it is. So that's three pounds each. Well you, well, you can't go wrong now with that. What a great gift. I would, you could put these in earrings, but I would row them. I would actually put these on the leather cord that everyone's yeah. doing at the moment, because the leather yeah. cord would go through there beautifully, yeah. and I would probably put all four of them on yeah. one piece. Yeah. I would five, at that Five, you get five. Yeah. You could put all five, or yeah. you could make two bracelets, two on each, yeah. have one left over. Yeah. This is such great value. Now, when I launched the larger ones, they all sold out. How many of these do I have? We've got a nice... Are they brand new today, these smaller size? Carol launched them, shot absolutely bunches of them. Now, I, I launched the larger ones straight away. Now, I like these little ones because they're going to work very well on the leather cord. Yeah. If you go into Pandora now, and I've spoken about Links of London and Thomas Sabo, there's a lot of leather, and when you add the gems, you go around, 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 and wrap. So if I had one wrap, peridot, another wrap, peridot, and sit them so that they're all around, five different, and you can do that by knotting, knotting the leather. Now we're talking over 100 pounds worth of charm bracelet there in that charm, mm. because with one, it's 80 pounds. Yes. And when you start 80 pounds for one leather with one gemstone and sterling silver charm, if you buy the leather on its own, I think it's 45, 40, 50? Yeah. yeah. For leather but it's the, but it's a gorgeous design I'm um, don't get me wrong you know I'm never gonna knock it but you could if you've already got that leather bracelet you could add these two and make it look even more substantial now I've got a lot of you in for this one please check out your baskets uh, a lot of you multi buying t uh, Trina you've got two and I don't blame you because this is a great Christmas present idea and it is a birth gemstone it's peridot it's gorgeously green I think these are beautiful with rose quartz as well you don't have to use this in charm bracelets you can put this in a you could put this in a regular stretchy bracelet and use these to space. You do get five. They are fantastic quality. ELDL27 is your item code. Hilary, Auntie, Susan, Melanie, Nicolette, Maxine, Trina, as I said, bought two. I've got a jewelry maker in Somerset. I've got Diane. I've got brand new jewelry makers there as well. Great to have you all on board. You will get loads of free goodies with your very first order. So pretty, these peridots. You're going to just love them. Now, my dear hearts and darlings. Do you hate it when people do that? 
I remember when my kids couldn't do that. <laughs> Go through that stage, don't you? Now, ooh, is this, what is this? It's amazing. You know when a flock of birds just flies up, loads of them? Look at this one. That's what it reminds me of. Brand new, don't you think? Wow. I love it. Or it's like when you go, sort of when you watch a, a documentary that goes under the sea. They're kind of fluid inside. Now, I hear a little birdie tells me that you were eyeballing these up earlier. What is it about these that you've just got to have? They're like slices of history. Slices you can of see all the history inside. You know, you can see how it's made inside. And that colour, it's just, it, it complements all skin tones, that colour, because it's not a bright green, it's a real muted, mossy green. And oh, I just think they're, that in the, the headpiece that I did with the big drop in the middle, just that. Or just one with the pearls or with, with anything, just. I think they're gorgeous like this. I have there's some left. Yeah. <laughs> I really love mossy greens. Yeah. When you're when it's wintry and you're wearing a colour like this and you've got your brown knee high boots on, it just goes. Yeah. I like a tweed jacket as yeah. well with a pair of yeah. jeans and a white shirt. Yeah. And that, this is exactly what I would wear. Nice crisp white shirt, mm. lovely pair of jeans with a nice leather belt and a pair of leather knee high flat boots. Yeah. Tweed jacket over the top, out I go on a winter's day. Nice and warm with gorgeous jewellery on. I think these are beautiful. I don't I think maybe a bit of antique bronze wire actually. Yeah. If I'm gonna go tweedy with them. Yep. Yeah. Or some copper. Copper, copper would look or maybe nice. both interspersed. Yes. Yeah. yeah, if you did one and then just had like a talk style necklace that twisted the two colours together and Loves then just the had idea that, of that on just one. And you've only used one of them. I really love that idea. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Do you love them? I really like my country greens in the winter though, do you? I really do like a thick old tweed. I do like, I like a good old yeah. hip flask. I yeah. like that. I'm, I like it. Might be caught with a, with a bit of a partridge feather in my hat one day, you know? Wouldn't be out of the question. Now I'm giving you the opportunity to get these brand new drops of beautiful preonite. You can find Priya Knight in Scotland, by the way. For a brand new launch price. Not of that, because that's the same as the other, of 11 .95. Now the suggested price for these was 14 .95. So if you love it, need it, want it, got to have it in your stash, you've got to put it in there now. £11.95, IWR, U36 is your item code, 17 by 10 to 28 by 15 millimetres on a 10 centimetre strand. Well done to each and every one of you for grabbing this. They're top drilled, beautiful mossy tones. They've, um, Jenny, I do look. With that chain. Oh, with that chain, yes. Thank you, my angel. We've had lots of text messages, apparently, about my Rod, Jane and Freddie hair. That's what I've decided it is. I should have straightened it, I ain't gonna lie. Anne in Suffolk says, Jenny, my friend Celine and I were saying how much we liked your hair today. It looks lovely. She has now started buying from jewellery makers and using my stuff. I love that, because you've got, it's nothing better than jewellery making with a mate. My friend comes round most Tuesdays, Bernie, and we sit down and we chain mail together. And have a good chat, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bernie, do you have tea as well? Cups of tea? And cake. Tea and cake, sometimes wine. No, because I've got to go and do the school run. They can walk home. Eleven pounds and ninety-five pence. Thank you, thank you, my love. Look at these, gorgeous. Lots of you there. Keep your text messages coming in. Uh, now Kim's just joined us because they're going to put Kim and I back together for a bit, only for a little bit. We're not allowed to stay together for too long. It's it's um. We're the dream team, me and you, Kim. The dream team. But can you beat Phil now? Phil, who they said couldn't control me. They said he couldn't control her. They were wrong. He's doing all right, isn't he? He's doing all right. Um, Kim, Kim can't handle me for too long. It, you're, are you giving Philip some respite? Is that what it is?
I can't believe they'd al they've allowed Kim back with me. But, you know, it's happening. It's happening. Kim, have you heard about the roast dinner wrap? Now, this is the thing today that we asked everybody to text in because Phil goes to a goes to a pub near his house and it doesn't sell food. So one day in the week, Kim, they're allowed to take their own food into the pub. You cook for each other, so it was your turn to cook. Is it like pub locals? So it was Phil's turn and it's like a twist. So what Phil did was he wanted to make a roast dinner, but he was never going to be able to deliver a roast, loads of roast dinners. Do you know what he did? He made a roast dinner and he put it in a tortilla wrap and made roast dinner wraps. <laughs> And then you had gravy in it and everything. What do you think of that, Kim? Could you eat a roast dinner wrap? She doesn't think she could eat a roast dinner wrap. I'm thinking I can. I could. Gravy all in. I actually like this idea. And if I worked for a food company now, I would be putting a, slapping a patent on that. The roast dinner wrap. You can get a full English in a tin, can't you? Those English breakfasts. Yeah, but I can't, I can't have that. <laughs> Have you had it? Is it nice? No, I had it when I was a student and didn't earn a lot of money because it was quite cheap. But no. I think I'd rather have the beans on their own. Yeah. And I have to know exactly what chickens laid the eggs I'm eating. I'm really funny yeah. with eggs. I can't be eating any. I couldn't go for. I can't go for full English breakfast and eat their eggs. I'll eat everything else. Just can't be eating anyone's eggs. Eleven ninety-five. I need to know the chickens are out there. You know, happy. Having a wonder. And I need to know that they're not more than three days old, the eggs yeah. I'm eating. Are you like that with me? Are you? Are you with me? No. But I love this amethyst. You're going to love this, Fleur. Oh, Kim's going home early, is she? Yeah, take note of that. Take note. Kim left it. She has been in since 6am. Look at that. I love marquees. Mm. Love marquees. But how would I use these? Because I really love them. I mean, just one pendant, actually, I think is quite beautiful mm. on its own, yeah. looking gorgeous. So this could be a strand that allows me to make a decent profit. Yes. You could use one by itself. If you had five together, you, they make a flower. You can make a flower with them. I did a tiara a long time ago that was like a crown tiara, and I hung one off the topmost crown it was a bit of a so the Katie peak price. point yeah <laughs> yeah and it hung and it, and it moved, hung did it? yeah and it, Ooh, it, was, yeah. it was hanging in the middle and it that was like and because amethyst people know amethyst if they if you've got it or you give it as a gift you don't have to explain that it's oh, a pre night that's or something this, that, the other, yeah, yeah they know straight away that that's an amethyst i agree with that because it's a very it's a gemstone that's very much in the forefront of what mm. we you know where we go where we shop yeah um, and and you might not even notice that you know it yeah. but you do yeah. and it's funny that isn't it here's your certificate of authenticity now um, we have different grades of amethyst we have different types of amethyst you can see these are high end because they're marquis cut Beautiful checkable faceting on them as well. And the clarity. So you've got everything that you want, really, from any strand of amethyst. You've got the beauty. You've got the colour. And these are going to make absolutely super flowers. They're gorgeous, aren't they? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to the strand. Look, it's the sparkle. It's that sparkle. I love it. And what colours go with this? You know, you can put it with rose quartz. You can put it with a sort of preonite green. You can put these with a green amethyst. Mm. I mean, I, I, you know, but then a smoky quartz would look so elegant with it too. And black. Black To gorgeous. make like a, a Downton Abbey style, 1920s, 40s style jewellery because that's the that's the cut that was that art deco style cut yes it is that checkable faceting was very popular in the art deco period wasn't it at 11.95 these are fleur sparkly and just i love it i love that you've got all these earrings i love that you've got these pendants and they're large they, they are, are substantial large. none that all oh, you could make a lovely ring out of these yeah. as well they would make such pretty, pretty rings, wouldn't they? ZGRU 62, 95 carats. Look at that. Claire in Powers. Jenny, my son loves a carbonara pitta. Carbonara pitta, carbonara. What, so are you putting the 
carbonara inside the pita bread. He is a physics PhD student, so he has to be right. Love that, thank you. But I always think the clever one, like my Mia, she's a bit weird, but then she's clever. So I think sometimes when you're weird, you're not all there with the old um, common sense thing, are you? I told you about the sandals she wore to school the other day. Awful. She couldn't find her school shoes. They were under the table where she was doing her homework. She wore sandals to school with socks. She got in the car and I went, you're not helping yourself here. You are not helping yourself here. She went, what? Socks and sandals and you go to secondary school. Well, you're asking for it. I said, well, you're asking for that. <laughs> I'd have said something to you if I was at school with you. She was like, oh, mummy. What did, I said, what do people say? She said, I got called Moses a couple of times. I was like, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. She doesn't even care. It's like Chloe said to her, you don't even care, do you? Mia went, I don't care what I look like. And I had to admire her for that. I thought, fair enough. She takes it on the chin. I said, listen, Moses, you ever wear those, to the, those shoes to school again? Me and you are falling out. Yeah, I did. I mean, Chloe was absolutely wetting herself. I don't know, Jesus, Moses, whatever. She was wearing sandals. The fact is, she just didn't care. And the child's got big feet. Now she's up here on me, tall, skinny, with the sandals, just with socks, Fleur. They weren't, they were black socks, but the, and they were all frayed, these sandals, they weren't right. She said, but I'd have got, a, I'd have got an, ex, uh, what's it called, an owl one. Oh. I said, you should have worn trainers to school and got in trouble. <laughs> oh no, I'm not getting in trouble. I'd rather people picked on me, mummy, than I got in trouble. <laughs> it's like, you are not my daughter. <laughs> 11.95, Zegia, yeah, but she's got, you know, it is funny because she just doesn't care and people like her because she doesn't yeah. care, I think. Needs like that. Needs to wear odd socks. With like oh yeah, we always wear odd socks, yeah. yeah. And I'll say, well, you've got a pair of those. Oh no, but I'm fine, just let me go, I'm fine. Yeah, they don't uh, care, do they? I know, that's what I say, people will talk about you. Yeah, they don't care. On. Yeah. Oh, you know, on. the kid with the sandals, the kid with the odd socks. <laughs> yeah. They're too busy in books. They don't know. They don't That's care it. what's going on around mm. them. They don't. Eleven ninety-five. Yours friend turned up to school with a. That is your kind of crew, though, Phil. My friend turned up to school with a bum bag on. He just said. <laughs> Did he ever wear it again? No. You've just forgiven him for it. Oh, that's just like the in between us, where he's got the little bags. Zroop. Yeah, briefcase. There was always that one kid who bought a briefcase to school. There was one in my year. Yeah, one in my year. What is it, eh? But you've got to let them do it. You've just got to let them be who they are, haven't you? They're probably multi-millionaires now. Oh, gosh, yeah. Maybe. It's, you have got to let kids be who they are, though. Yeah. You can't try and make them be something different, because yeah. they're just not... It's, there's no point. Just let them be. I have got eccentric kids, I suppose, haven't I, like that? No. Even, even the boy looked at her and went. <laughs> now, your friend was like that and now works for NASA, did you just say? Didn't cut his nails for six years. Nah, I've got to draw the line at that. I have to chase my son around. I am cutting those nails. Oh, mine and the boys are the same. They're terrible. Why is it their nails grow better than ours? Yeah. So annoying. Now. <laughs> Have a look at these. I launched the hearts like this the other day. I fell in love with them. They're like an inky blue. They're a, they're a blue black. And this is crackle quartz like I've never seen it. These puffy drops, do you remember we saw the heart? Was it you I did the hearts with the other day, Philip? Twas, he says, twas. And, and they're inky blue black. Now, because we haven't got anything like this, I would just get, I'm imagining these were turquoise just mm. being amazing. What do you reckon? Yeah, turquoise, or you could go something like a lapis blue, which is a real mm. bright blue, like a, a real royal blue, and that yeah. would show those as the inky blue, so you've got the two different kinds of blues. I love that. Now, I've also got crackle quartz in the sort of oh, deep yeah. pinky ready, and that looks That's lovely, doesn't it? Christmas jewellery. It is, isn't Christmas it? Christmas jewellery. Now, because these are quite a new concept, I actually think if Mark Smith saw these, he'd go, but he loves crackle quartz. Mm. I love Crackle Corpse as well, but when you see, look at that, because they're sparkly on the inside, and this is an ink blue, isn't it, like when we yeah. used to have ink wells, you'll yeah. remember this, wooden yeah. desks, yeah. ink wells, yeah. they didn't know what I was talking about, they thought I'd gone mad, they asked me if I, if I used to use chalkboards and 
feather pens, quills. Do you remember? You asked me if I had slates and whether they still had the cane at my age at school. No is the answer, but we did have inkwells. Mm. We did. Yeah. They're proper, so you get your, your fingers trapped in them sometimes if somebody when slams you put, the top yeah. down. Yeah, I love those wooden desks you used to yeah. put up like that. And you could pretend you were doing looking for something when you yeah. were like, Chuck, Chuck, have you done your homework? Mm. I haven't done my homework. <laughs> Nothing, sir. So I'm just looking for me, ruler. Really like, you know, I used to love or that. gouging your name in it with your yeah, compass. Yeah, that was good. With yeah, the, yeah, you've got to, or someone else's name, so they get into trouble yeah. and you don't. <laughs> yeah, not with Fleur. You can do it with the name Fleur. No, who it did was this? Fleur, sir. So look, look. No one else can spell her name. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I write Ali Defoy was here on those stairs? <laughs> Shall I? <laughs> no, she would never do that. She's. I don't think she's ever been in trouble in her life. You all know who's done it, don't you? It'd be me here, wouldn't it? Or I'd made Lucy do it. Carol's good. She could have her moments, but Defoy, she's never had a detention in her life. 6 95 Imagine if I took her under my wing. Come on, Ali. <laughs> it's just squash. At 6 95 she wouldn't last a minute, would she? Not a minute. KHP 078. She's the sort of kid that's how you want your daughter to turn out. Never been in trouble. Yeah. Good parenting. Six pounds, 95 pence. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, I am blaming you, Mary Cleary. You know what you You know who you are. <laughs> Ten by eight. My mum always used to say, do what you want as long as you're happy. Off you go. Famous last words they were. Yeah. I might have been in trouble, Mum, but I weren't half happy yeah. while I was doing it. <laughs> oh, 106, 555, it is a free phone number. These are really, really popular. It's wonderful to have your company here at Jewelry Maker, where we offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, lots of giggles, and some fab techniques from Fleur. Well, we hope lots of giggles anyway. Now, I'm going to give you that red one that I just gave to you. Uh, those were really popular. And I think they're really popular because, you know, they're a shape that we're really used to but a gemstone that we haven't used before, so it's nice to mix it up a little bit, isn't it? Now, I really like these. They're reminding me of something. What is it? I know what it is. It's sorbet. I love sorbet. Mm. Do you love a bit of sorbet? Yeah, I'd rather have a sorbet than an ice cream. I believe I would too, but they're less available. Yeah. And you have to have a waffle cone. You can't have a normal cone with sorbet. It doesn't work. Mm. No, you should have a waffle cone anyway, it says. Of course you should, Phil. Now, what about a roast dinner in a waffle cone? How about that? That'll be nice. Meatballs and ice cream cones. Yeah, why not? Why not? Like I said, you only live once. Put a carrot in the bottom like a savoury cornetto, he said, and slightly like Hefton, chocolate. Like Hefton Blooming, he'd do something Did he like do that. that. Well, he would Does do he? something like that, wouldn't he? He's a bit way out there with food. I think we should be a bit more way out there. Yeah. Not me particularly. I think <laughs> if I went any more way out there, you'd be, st you'd be sending out astronauts to get me back. <laughs> Now, look at these. They're gorgeous, they are. And they are that lovely berry sorbet colour. Am I making you hungry? Sorry. Aren't they lovely? Look at the crackles. I do love a twist. Mm. I do. Mm. I think that's a fantastic thing to have that lovely twist in an earring. Great in a stretchy bracelet as well. FQP061. That is already flowing out. What would you do with these, Fleur, in terms of design? I'd definitely do a stretchy bracelet with it because I think that colour against your skin, and if you've just got, even if you've got a plain black jumper on, that would just make your outfit. And a pair of earrings, and then maybe a couple in a necklace, but mainly I'd use that as a stretchy bracelet. Keeping all the same um, yeah, gemstones in a row? You could even have um, a little jump ring or a spacer bead in between just to section them off or you could even wire wrap it into a bangle. You know, use some contrast wire, maybe some black wire or some purple wire mm, yeah. or just a, another contrast colour. And then if you thread them all through and then go back and then just wrap round each one so you've got the colour on the top. I like the idea of that actually. Or memory wire. We pop them on some memory wire. They would work with memory yeah. wire. Yeah. Now we're giving you a launch price of six ninety five. These are brand new today, and they are such a luscious colour that we do have lots of you on the phone. And simple stretchy bracelets, putting these with other gemstones, other wire, you know, different wires maybe looming them. I mean, maybe you could do add some of these to your suit ash. Maybe you could do a bit of a weave with these. Maybe you could surround them with some seedy beads. It's so up to you. At six ninety-five, there are lots of different things that you can do to experiment with this shape. Because you're paying such a little price tag, 
you're getting a great value strand and you can't afford to just you know twist and turn around somebody just sent a message saying Vicky I love your hair <laughs> I'm not Vicky I'm Jenny do I look like Vicky Cobble but she's got really short hair hasn't she it grew overnight Zach and Georgie I'm being am I more Georgie than she is she's a fake Georgie she's never even watched bite a glove she, she's not a Geordie. She doesn't even know what the fuck on the tie looks like. Uh, every, she just pretends. That's her pretend accent. Because uh, she's really posh and she doesn't want to intimidate people. FQB06. <laughs> she's not really. She's not really. I said she didn't want to intimidate people with her really posh voice. That she's really got. She's not really got a Winnebago. <laughs> she's got a Bentley. <laughs> That's so big you can sleep in it. <laughs> FQP over 61. Loads of you there. It is lovely. Thank you for the compliment. My name, how I, maybe I could get away with being called Vicky. Do you reckon I'd get away with less if I pretend to be Vicky Carr? Get away with more. I think I would. Kathy's got two. Hillier's got your, you got yours. Vicky was here. Now she definitely never been in trouble in her life. Definitely. 100% model pupil, I reckon. Yeah. 100%. I bet she hasn't, not ever, ever been told off. Because she would get so upset if she got told off. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to interview Vicky Carr for the JM Hub magazine. And that's going to be my first question. Have you ever been told off for anything? Have you, Flo? Were you a good girl at school? No. No. Were you a bit of a minx? I went to Horse College. And yeah. We had oh, a, <laughs> which one? Bishop Burton, up near Hull. And we had a, a, lect a, a section called Grassland Management. And after the two years, I went to Mr. Freeman, who ran the course and did the course, and said, can you sign this to say I've been in your course? And he said, who are you? I said, well, I've been in your course the last two years. He said, no, you haven't. Well, I hadn't, but I've done the work. Well, I hadn't done the work. Somebody else had done it for me. But yeah, I, uh, he didn't even know who I was and I was on the course because I didn't turn up to his lessons. I love but, it. Yeah, I have got in trouble more Can than I got. Can you manage your grass now? Can I see you separating your field? Can I see you selecting the poisonous plants out of that field? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just move him when it looks a bit bare. I'll move him to the next field. Buttercups? What yeah. happens there? Do you know? Well, the, yeah, they yeah. burn their lip. Poor them. quality grass. Yeah, he's a gypsy cob though. He's, he don't mind. He don't mind. He don't mind. He's sturdy. Yeah. Isn't? Now these are really popular. We've only got a few of them left, so please be quick. Fleur and I were a bit naughty. Which one? Fourteen. Oh, I like these big drops of agate. Mm. Turned out all right in the end though, didn't we? We did. Well, ish. <laughs> Still time. <laughs> I think naughty girls, when they become mothers, their children are really well behaved because they don't want them to go down the same route. Road. And also, Mia wouldn't get away with it. I'd go mad. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these, they're so glossy, aren't they? They're so lovely and glossy. I would wire wrap these with a bit of gold or a bit of silver or a bit of copper. Something's going to go zing. Sartreuse. Yep. Or if you've got that black and gold kit. Just black and gold, yes, with that. this, so elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. Or the silver jump rings would yeah. look amazing with it. Yeah. Now these are pendants essentially, and we hear from Gemma Crow, we hear from a lot of you at uh, home jewellery making saying seven pounds ballpark figure, seven to eight pounds. Uh, I think it was seven ninety nine, but I'll say seven just in case for sake of argument. In that craft store, mm. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's seventy pounds already. 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know what uh, 7 times 14 is, but I'm sure someone will help me. Um, so that is a lot of money's worth. Over £70 worth, let's put it that way. 98. You wouldn't pay £98 for that, though, would you? No, for each pen. I mean, there's £7 a pendant, right, in that crafty store. How many did I count again? 14. 8.95. They're not eight ninety five. They're six ninety five. We have got to just appreciate value here. I mean, you can buy pendants for about seven pounds for genuine gemstones, yeah. and look at the size of these. 
You can see cabochons and pendants about seven, eight pounds, can't you? In that big crafty store, Gemma Crow tells me you can. XFG P61, you've got 480 carats of gorgeous black agate. These are very sophisticated. They're wonderful if you're gonna do your monochrome pieces. And they're brand new. They're brand new. There's something to do with getting a good night's sleep with agate. That's the uh, myth and legend. And, and there's, um, they're supposed to help with the cure of a scorpion sting. I've never been stung by a scorpion, so I can't back that theory up. Uh, Barbara and Dorset. Thanks, girls. Wonderful show. Lots of ideas and great demos. Off to have my bread and water. Oh, oh. Barbara. Listen, get your bread maker out. Have you got a bread maker? Love them. No, no, They're no, dangerous, no. though, because you would eat a lot of bread. La putting lavender in bread is lush. Mm. You make those artisan breads like the tomato and that bread through those. Yeah, you? olives. Yeah. What is really nice is when you put rosemary in it. <sighs> bread makers rock. Six ninety-five. They are good. They are good. Six pounds ninety-five pence. Lots of salt, obviously with me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, oh, I don't want to eat carbs though. XFG P six one. Listen, Barbara, you can have lovely farmhouse butter and lovely homemade jam on on your bread how about that mm, proper harvest bread harvest time isn't it uh, are you having a harvest supper let us know we want to know a bit of harvest supper are you doing a harvest supper at your schools or have you done it did it last friday we did it as well not her actual school she's got kids you know what i mean in the village i love these hematites pyrites it's really long strand i love these yeah great for beaded kumahimo Anyway, Barbara, we're not finished yet. You're not going anywhere, love. Now, you're staying with us. <laughs> not time to eat yet, Barbara. Have a look at these. Beady Kumahimo, little charms. Definitely tiaras and fascinators. Those silver shell pearl, those big silver <gasps> shell pearl. Oh, yeah. Those look amazing. So mm. just these as little spaces yep, in between. Just little spaces in between. Oh, yeah, now you're talking. These together. Look at that. 60 carats. Incredible sparkle from these. I would definitely put those in between. Now, Fleur, those shell pearls have sold out, unfortunately. I, I heard you say earlier you were doing macrame. What about micro macrame with these? Yeah, you could do that with that Eslon cord, with the new Eslon cord. Definitely. Or the sari, the sari silk, you know, the, the, the finer one. Little tiny, yeah. Well, I had a kit the other day with Hannah Osborne, and she had the most amazing sari silk. Zari or sari? The sparkly sorry. one? Yeah, yeah. The Zari's it. the thicker one, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. yeah. The Zari's the thicker, and the sari is the thinner, but they've both got that metallic quality to It'd them. It'd be amazing with yeah. that. Oh, it would be amazing. Bit of like, crochet, you'd crochet. Yeah. Um, yeah. A piece which we're not allowed to talk about, but uh, watch this space. A lot of crochet, very fashionable at the moment, crocheting. It is, it is very fashionable. Whether it's the time of year or what, I don't know, but this would be perfect in conjunction with a bit of crochet. EJV X, where are you going, Mateo? <laughs> EJV, he was going, he was, I didn't know where he was going. EJV X82. Dion's having a full on blue show tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? The next day. £6.95 pence for these. They're just beautiful. Dion is in, wearing blue. I've got blue here. Look, this is okay. Ooh, that's lovely. You look very posh. You're in on your day off today. Yeah, I'll do To that. learn things, Dion yeah, is. To come with biscuits. Oh, look at that. I, I, why didn't anyone eat that? I might have that one, actually. Thanks, Dion. Nice. Dion's bringing chocolate to us, everyone. Don't forget Fleur. She's, a, of she's partial to a biscuit. <laughs> Six ninety-five. We're all a bit. Ooh. Barbara, if you could send her one, she spent all her money and she's got nothing to eat now. Six ninety-five. EJB X eighty-two. Great to have your company here today at Joy Maker. We do love you and do think about your your macrame. Do think about your beaded kumahimo. Do think about when you want to fill up. Oh, actually, didn't Karen Crawford use these? You could use these in a St Petersburg weave, yeah. couldn't you? They would yeah. look lovely in yeah. a St Petersburg. Do you do a bit of weaving? You're a weaver? No, I, I do a little bit. I am learning. Um, I like to pick things up and sort of like have a little play and, and see how I get on with it. But that would be, uh, the, do you know the one that Karen did with the fan where she wire wrapped them on? Um, so they went out in yeah, stages. Yes, I do, very Art Deco. Yeah, the Art Deco piece. You could do that and you could wire wrap those onto a talk style necklace. 
I do love a little tiny bead. You know, yeah. you know, I love, I love doing bead weaves. I love doing beady beads. Yeah. I love putting these in. A, I just think they're so useful. I never want to call them useful, but they are, aren't they? Well, you get you, so many. Indeed, you get so many. Mm -hmm. And look how long this strand is. What is it? Forty centimeters. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Six pounds and ninety-five pence. Unbelievable value. Now, my little darling angels, I'm going to give to you some yellow apple. Sam said it in my ear. Oh, now this has got a glow to it. This has got a glow. It's more of a lemon meringue pie kind of yellow. And it's opal. Fleur is giving me the thumbs up for this one. So tell me, Fleur, what do you love about this? Well, it's a birth gemstone, October, October. which is now. And it's a different colour. It's more of a, um, do you know when you wear your big chunky cashmere colours, your Ooh, yeah, a bit cafe, of hair. yeah, mm. that kind of colour will go really well because it's like a muted colour. It's not an in-your-face yellow. It's um, it's a really nice, but it's still got the sparkle from from the facets and all the different colours. It's a bit like a mookite type of a. Each one's completely different. You're right, that actually, kind of. and you do get pin fire in here yeah. as well, but it's red. But what colour? I've, I've actually never used this strand before. What colour wire would I put with it? Silver. I'd do silver. Would you really? Yeah, I'd put silver with that, yeah, to make those lemons and those those burnt oranges, that, that, that sort of like a muted mustardy yellow, make them stand out even more. Now, I would have thought gold, but you're absolutely right. Now I'm putting it in my head. It works a lot better with silver, doesn't it? Because you're letting that yellow be... Yeah be yellow yeah. rather than trying to yeah. blend into gold yeah because the gold the gold color would would show that up as, as a more mustardy uh, color whereas yes. the silver would show each color up individually and you've got some really paler ones in there as well and i like the fact that it's slightly graduated i like i like graduated strands um, because you can make it into a, a feature piece in a small section of a necklace you can do a small like a watch style bracelet six or seven on the top of your wrist and then however you want to fasten it, either a macrame or chain, chain mail or normal beading. But definitely the silver, the silver, just some little silver space beads or crimp covers just made into beads in between. And you've got this great glow, this wonderful clarity mm. to this strand. Should be 14 95 You've got this month's birth gems. And I've not seen this strand before. I really like the different variations of it. I love those sort of creamy tones that you're getting in with this too. I love the fact that you've got that sort of lemon meringue pie look. W O R U 19 for October's birth gem. So, but lucky Opal, lowest price tag you've ever seen this strand at just £10.95 pence with a 30 day money back guarantee. Make sure you're getting these in your collection. Well done to everybody that already has. And remember, if you're sort of umming and ahhing today and you've got that open box, you've already bought some stuff with us today, you don't pay any extra PB and you have got 30 days, you don't love it, you simply send it back not a problem at all at 10.95 you have got wonderful wonderful value and you know something i was just thinking a bit of antique bronze wire wouldn't go amiss would it a bit of resin mm -hmm. actually yeah you know your pendant with your resin you've got all these yeah. wonderful like pressed flowers these, yeah. these kind of look like that yeah yeah you could use that you could use that as well you, you the cream pearls just a nice pearl would look nice in between because opal and pearls quite a classic jewelry yes they do you know i mean i've got my eternity rings mine's pearl and blue topaz uh, opal and blue topaz but i've seen a lot of pearl and opal is that your birth gemstone no no it's my sister's it's my just sister's one that birthday. you love yeah yeah oh, I, I just like that. it when what day is your sister's birthday today Happy birthday, Fleur's sister! Are you going up there tonight? Going up no, house? she's gone. She's gone to Harry Potter World. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Can we go? Can we go? Yeah. Thank you. I've been. It's lovely. It's fab. I really want to go there. It's fabulous. You've been? I've been. Yeah, I'm going again at Christmas. Come with us at Christmas. Going I'm coming. Orlando. I'm coming. How do I get tickets? Tell me everything. Now, I need you to tell me how I get these tickets. <laughs> now, I'm going to give to you. Ali looks like Lara Croft today, by the way. Oh, that's not Ali. That's why. Hello. You, Ali looks like Lara Croft from behind. Not even Ali. Not even Ali. It's Vicky. Have a look. Suddenly less Scottish than usual. 
Uh, I want you to do the show in a 100% Scottish accent, please. Oh, she's good. <laughs> she's no bad at that. She was a bit raspy, I liked it. I really liked it. Should we have a Scott off? Let's do it. <laughs> now, you've got this lovely checkerboard faceting and you've got this blood red. And I like these, I really do. I like a penny, I like a faceted penny. I like it when Linda sneaks in and tries to go unnoticed. <laughs> what are you doing, you little sneaker? I'm putting back the spoils that I had earlier. She's putting stuff back? Yeah. This isn't jewelry maker policy. We put things back. Now, take the notice of her, Vicky. When we take something, we keep it. Now, look at this. She's a bad example. These are mirror graduated. Look at that checkerboard fasting. That's what I like to see. And that colour. And mix it with, you know those wooden beads we had earlier? These would be great for a watch style bracelet. They're wonderful for a brooch. I just like this, very juicy. It looks like the, if these were a sweetie, they'd be full of amazing flavour. Yeah. Gorgeous, aren't they? What would you do with these? Put them with black. Either little black rondelles to make a watch style bracelet so that's on the top of your wrist and then you have the little rondelles either side smoky quartz to make it a little bit more um 1920s look Ooh, so it's yeah. Ooh, yeah. so it's like a bit of embers in the fire so you've got the browns and the even those opals that you've just had in between to put the opals and then put that in the middle so you've got the orange and the and the mustardy yellows it does work I love autumnal colours yeah. though. I, I always yeah. have loved all the changing of seasons. I yeah. love it. I love snow. Yeah. I love leaves. I love leaves. Yeah. That's like I love lamp, isn't it? I love leaves. <laughs> but I do. I love it. I love kicking yeah. up the leaves and, and it's just so pretty when everything changes and then spring and the blossom. I think it's so lovely mm. to have that. We'd be a bit bored with life if it didn't change, wouldn't we? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six on the strand. These would make great cufflinks as well. Yeah. And a ring, the smaller one to be be a nice statement ring. Nice cocktail size ring. Really just, like that. Just wire wrapped on. Isn't it gorgeous? Orange cow said me. You've got depth, you've got this sort of inner, you've got a sort of waxy luster to these. So they do have that nice glow to them, which you can see when you get the light behind it. Oh, we're running out of time. Oh, it's gone so quick. Now you've got the lovely Vicky Field, and you know I love fields. Vicky Field is with you all the way up until <laughs> nine. There's nothing not to love about a field. Thank you to Fleur. Thank you. Uh, when are you back with us, my darling? First uh, of November. First of November. Uh, so look out for that. Tomorrow we have got Steampunk Day with Frankie, and I don't want you missing out. Now, also, I don't want you missing out on Vicky Field. She's coming up. She's going to be Scottish just for you after this. <laughs> The first C we look for is colour. The colour of a gemstone refers to the hue, tone and more importantly, the even saturation of colour within the gemstone. This can make the difference between a poor stone and a highly exquisite gem, being highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Secondly, we look for clarity. Almost all gemstones can contain some type of inclusions formed during crystallisation. Some gemstones, for example emerald, are acceptable with inclusions whilst others are graded on how clean they are. Then we look for carat. Gemstones are always measured in carat weight when cut and commonly in grams as rough. Additionally, there are 100 points in every carat, so every point counts. And last but definitely not least, we come to cut. The cut is the most misunderstood